God damn it, we back. We are back. Yes. Looking like a Christian R&B group today. That's what we look like, right? Christian R&B. That's what we look like. Fellas, we can be on somebody's TV. We can be on Sunday's best. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the group? Uh, uh, the Soul Snatchers. The Offering. Uh, the Offering. <laughs> the Offering. The <laughs> Offering is it. Say less. That's the name of this group. If y'all want to book us, <laughs> slide head first into my DM. Girl, what you doing after church, bitch? I'm going to see the offering. Going to see the offering. <laughs> you know what I did last night. I'm going to see the offering. <laughs> the offering ran a whole train on the congregation. So how did y'all meet? Craziest thing. It's glad you asked. I was singing background for the offering. Uh-huh. <laughs> my tour was in town. I met him. The over it as fate would have it. As fate would have it. Ladies and gentlemen, hey man, welcome back, man. Another fabulous episode of the number one storytelling podcast in the business. I'm glad to be here today, man. I'm feeling good. I uh You look like the how you feel. Oh, I feel like a stimulus check. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely feel like a stimulus check. You definitely look like the yeah. I don't know what you definitely look like you got the second one already. Yeah. I do look like I got the second one on it. <laughs> yeah. I, look like, I look like I got my shit already. You look like you got the second one on it. And look like what y'all doing. What y'all shit yeah, yeah, I look yeah. like a hardest manager. Yeah. 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 This <laughs> nigga <laughs> low key look like <laughs> hardest he manager. You got two people that's dead, check. <laughs> Sent to his house. Fool said he looked like a hardies manager. I look like Hey, drop the fries. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, drop the fries. Yeah, like I said, I want cheese on both of them sandwiches. <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to get this nigga out of here. This nigga with his dress and his jacket is killing me. Hey. Drop the fries! Meanwhile, I'm over here dressed like uh, I can turn your 200 into 2,000. Hey man. Black Midas. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, fellas, we all look uniquely uh, stylish, stylish in our own way. I, say, I like to get up. Food, food, I can't take it out of my head now. Food say he looks like. A hardest man. manager, that's so it. That's just, to you said that. I didn't even smile. The show was fine. He said, "I'm like." But it's a nigga. It's a nigga <laughs> watching this right now. That's in them comments, like, man, fuck damn fool shirt. That nigga look like a hardest manager. And you beat that nigga. I beat him to it. I beat him to it. You ain't your hatred. I beat him to it. I'm gonna tell you another thing. Somewhere, it's a nigga out there watching. He's laughing the hardest. Cause he got that shirt. He got yeah. that shirt. He got that same shirt. Cause he's sharp as iron, just like I did. He got the same shirt. And even funnier than that, fellas. Somewhere it's a nigga dying laughing. Mm -hmm. Cause he's a real Hardy's manager. <laughs> and hey, he, he got that shirt. He and he's he got that shirt. He's in this shirt. shirt. And he like, oh shit. He's sitting there around like, happy hour. I got that shirt. I got this shirt. For and yeah, I'm a Hardy's yeah. manager. And I didn't pay for that. He took it out of my check. Hey man, you gotta love it, man. You have to love it. I uh, just left my boys there at the crib. They chilling. Uh, Caleb was just getting up uh. when I was leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just say real quick. It was 3 p.m. Mm. when I left. He was just getting up. Good morning, Dad. Just getting up. Hit me with the good morning. He yawned. Day literally half gone. He's up. But well, here's the deal. He. He hit me with some logic. Mm. Because he's strong with the logic. He's strong with the logic. He's strong. I said, hey man, you need to get up. Nobody's sleeping all day. You shouldn't be sleeping all day. Mm. He said, Dad, mm. where do I have to go? Goddamn. Better yet, where do you have to go? Where and do what does either of us have to do? He's I, that's all he said. He left it at that. He let me figure the rest of the shit out. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be disrespectful and tell you I get up when the fuck I want to. I hit him with it. I said, you know what? You got me. You got me. As a parent, see, now my grandma would say, you get your ass up. You know, you can't, you can't stop her on her tracks and correct her on no shit. My son hit me with, where do I have to go? <coughs> then said, Dad, I'm 14. I don't have a job. <laughs> you technically don't have a job. The Whoa. economy's down, Dad. Whoa. He hit me with the economy. I said, you know what? I can't even be mad at him. 
I can't be mad at that. I want to be mad at it. I want to say some shit just to, I want to, I want to trump him with some daddy shit. Because I said so, I want to hit him with that. But I don't, I don't, I don't big dick my sons like that. I don't big dick my sons like that. If you hit me with some truth. Sound like shit. Let me tell you something. Brother, I can't Talk argue with that. Talk about up and at him for it, daddy. I am probably the pettiest adult when it comes to children mm. alive. I don't allow them to get away with anything. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. They tell a funny joke, I look at them like this. Let <laughs> them have it. Let have it. Dying on the inside. Not, I'm losing it. My inside <laughs> is doing this. <laughs> what? On the outside? Get out of my goddamn Come face. on, man, stop. This reminds me, that reminds me of a story, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I was dating this lady. Mm. Would you like to know her name? You know we gonna need that. Of goddamn course name. we would. We beat you up to the draw. I'm gonna give it to y'all right away. And know you son of a bitch is waiting. Erica is her name. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sexy lady. I know a beautiful Erica in Boston. You yeah. know what in Boston? You see, I just yeah. put my glasses. This one's in New York. Everybody's got an Erica. Hello, right? Erica. How are you? <laughs> hey, this Erica. one's for you. Erica has a son. Mm -hmm. Son is 13 years old. Erica is always on the go. She's traveling here and there, making moves, hustling. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. She breaks bread with her son weekly. Bam. If he does good for the whole month, she'll break him off like a couple of racks. You know what I mean? He's she, a good kid. Erica's doing well. She's doing real well. She's doing well in life. Erica, I hope you're still doing We're well. We're proud of you, Erica. We're definitely proud of you. And she says, uh, she's going back and forth, you know, in between cities. And um, for like the last month, she's been trying to figure out where the hell is all his money going? Mm. Every time we look up, hey ma, you got another fifty dollars? Hey ma, you got another hundred dollars? Hey ma, you got two hundred dollars? I'll pay you back. Hey ma, hey ma, right? So she said, trying to figure where is this money going, right? So she leaves out of town, leaves him again. Ma, I'm starving. I have no food. I'm starving. She said, well, just buy some food you got because I know. I know I gave you a thousand dollars at the beginning. Of the month. I know I gave you a thousand at the beginning of the month. Well, I don't have it anymore. I don't got no more money. Well, where the money at? <sighs> Ma, could you just send me some money? No. Mm. Tell me where the money is. I won't say nothing. Ma, I haven't eaten anything all day. All right. Well, call me when you're ready to send me where the money is. Click, hang lips on. Mm. A whole day go by. 24 hours. Boy ain't shit. <laughs> 24 hours is boy ain't 24 shit. 24 whole hours. Boy will not give up this goddamn information. Mm -hmm. Will not tell where the goddamn money went. He gonna die by it. You gonna die by it. Day two. This boy is technically is a hunger strike. Yeah. Yeah. There's a hunger strike going on. Near death. Because you can get fed. If you just snitch. You just gotta give up the information. Mm. 12 o'clock noon. He called. Hey, mom, I'm hungry. Okay. You didn't find anything to eat? No, I'm weak. I really need something to eat, mom. I bet you do. Okay. Bet you do. All right, well, I'll send you over the money if you can just tell me what I need to know. Where is the money? Ma, let's not go through this. Click, hangs up on him. What? 48 hours! This little boy still ain't eight. Two whole damn days. That's 48 hours this boy still ain't eight. That's six different times he could have ate. Bam. Mama comes home. Now they face to face. Where is that money? Just gave you some money. You ain't ate nothing? No, I haven't eaten anything. With the Samuel Jackson finger. Where is the money? <laughs> Tell me now. The who finger? The Samuel Jackson finger. This one. Where the motherfucking money at? I ain't gonna point at you, but point past you. I'm gonna point around your ass. Around your ass. Cause I'm gonna point to where your common sense went. He said, Ma, I don't want to talk about it. You know, little kids nowadays can talk shit like that. Oh, they raise the shit out their voices. Man. They can raise their voices. They raise shit. the fuck yeah. out their voices. You know, kids talk shit nowadays. You yeah. do that. With bass in it. And with no, with no Dolby repercussions. digital on the voice. Yeah. So that nigga sound. said Dolby oh, I don't want to talk about it right now, Ma. Walks, goes to his room. Uh-uh. She behind him. She on his ass. Yeah. She from Louisiana, originally. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what is going on? 
Okay, ma, I blew it. I blew it on a girl. Okay. Whoa. Where is she? Only fans. Boy blew a whole rack, 14 years old, only fans. Blew the whole goddamn rack. She said, show me this bitch. Show me. I need to know. Me. No. I erased everything. You're goddamn black. You You're erased goddamn everything. Black. You're goddamn black. Now I want to back up for a second. This is 14 years old and blew a rack. A yeah. rack. No, no, I don't no, do that no, in real life. She blew clothes. more than that. Oh, of course, that's all we know. That's all we identify. Because right. you, you had said before that, that that money was just, he would have been broke. Right, we know that, that for sure that rack was your only thing. For damn sure, that for thousand sure. that she gave him at the beginning of the month. Yeah. Went right on over to the only thing. Yes. She says to me, um, I need you to talk to him. I need you to have a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. All right, cool. <clears throat> no problem. I'm going to talk to a little black man. Yeah. Uh, Pillars of the community. That's what you are. That's what I am. That's what I am. Yeah. I said, hey, man, what's going on? He said, nothing. I know your mom. My mom asked you to talk to me. I said, yeah. You know, what's the deal? He said, I, I blew $1,000. I was like, oh, hey, I ain't tripping. I'm, I'm lighting it up. Hey, bro, I ain't tripping. Hey, man. I ain't tripping. I, I threw him a bone. Shit, I blew 5000 last week. Mm. Blue five, or easy five. Mm. You did? Yeah. You know Irene the Dream? Mm. <laughs> no. Don't look her up. Mm. Cause you gonna give her twenty racks. No. You Don't know. you look her up at all. That nigga said no. That nigga said no. No, but I was, I was, I was going to search mode. <laughs> and yeah. start going for that phone. Yeah. He said my mom wants to know who she is. I said shit, me too. Shit. I gotta know. I would love to know. You who got been, Who been beating you for a rack a month? He said I'm, I'm, don't even try it. I'm not going, to, I'm not exposing it. I'm, I'm, because I think, see, these girls make these dudes feel like they're in a relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this saying, it ain't really real to her. To him, he 14. Yeah. She probably saying all kind of shit to him. Yeah, it's probably sending him. She like, I got a rack out this nigga? He confused. But they like form letter messages. Like, they go to everybody. Like, as soon as you sign up, it's like, hey, sweetie. Thanks for joining me. You on the head page? No. <laughs> no. I'm you on, are, you, are you subscribed to anybody's page? No. Oh, you know what? I am subscribed to one person's page. See, that's how they get you. He forgot he got a membership. See, that's no, how they don't get the shit. No. He don't cancel shit. Just keep, just keep going. Right. Keep rolling over. Let me tell you what it is. She follows me. Thinks I'm funny. What's her name? Gotta have it. Her name's Coco Anise. Look it up, y'all. Hey, yeah. Up. Yeah, if you Coco like your woman, Anise. if you like your woman with some meat up on her bones. Oh, she's a thick girl. Oh, okay. man. Hey, man. Oh, man, that girl is yesterday's oatmeal. Hey, man, yeah. thicker than 30 year old oh, peanut yeah. butter. I'm talking about that girl that's trying to lift the spoon up the whole pot. Come what? Hey, it's man. Thicker than the tension in the room. Hey, you know what I'm man. talking about? What? Boy, so uh, I follow her on Instagram. How much you pay for that page? Nothing. That's how she enticed me. That's how she got it. She got see, you for nothing. See, let me tell you something. I, I've never... She sent me a free subscription. I've never been able now to do subscribe. That? She showed me some love. Anybody. That's why I, That's why I'm shouting her name out right now. I, I was on her Instagram, and she had a picture out looking see, fine. She and I, I said something funny in the comments. What did you say? And uh, I, I said something to the, to the effect of... Uh, Good God, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And mm. I felt it like like an old oh, man. Baptist pastor would have said. That's a good move. So, uh, that. you know, normally cats be being weird, dropping yeah. all type of nasty ass emojis, being creepy. <sighs> but by me just saying something funny, like, oh, good God, have mercy, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. There is a God. <laughs> and I spelled it probably like J E E Z U S. Z. Thank you, Jesus. And she synced it and she, she sent me a couple laughs. And See, that's a veteran laughs. social media move right there. Yeah. That's a veteran. Yeah. That's Rule a number one, no, don't, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Don't yeah, be you weird. can easily come off weird online. Niggas love easily. to take the weird route. Yeah, don't yeah. be weird, bro. It's so easy to be weird, too, because your natural weird. nature as a man is to do some shit that women would find weird these days. Mm -hmm. Some shit your grandmama would have found romantic and adorable. I like it. Let me tell you what, I, I was on, yeah. I'm over here looking for a light. I'm, I was I'm on CC I'm page, over the place, I was on CC page the other day, and you the dude was like, what up, D-Lay? Spoke to me on CC page. 
<laughs> right under there. <laughs> said, hey, can I eat your pussy? What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. Sir? Who? So no, niggas, it, it was, no, it was on CC page. I'm like, you nigga. You put all of this in the same. What up, D-Lay? Hey, can I eat your pussy? Wait a minute. That's too close. All of this in the same I thread? I can see you. I see you. You just added me. You added me and said, hey. And then you went right. I, I see you. What's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? See, look. Let me tell you something about. Where my lighter go? <laughs> only fans, <laughs> only fans, and all that shit. I've, uh, I look at it like there's too much free porn on Pornhub and stuff for you to have a subscription to anything. Right. Like I feel like if you have a subscription, you are a full on creep. Now here's what she. Now, no, 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 no. Not, not. Only fans is different. Now I, I say that because of this. I'm one of those people. I have this thing for. Regular people having sex. Amateur porn, boy. Come on. I don't get. I'm so. I've been watching models and beautiful bitches fuck for years. For the last twenty five years. I literally put shit in the in amateur the, porn. I, put I amateur, want to see bad lighting, bad lighting, lighting, dirty clothes on the floor. I type in shit like didn't know it was gonna be a threesome. Amateur. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitch in the bathroom brushing her teeth. Like, are you guys? Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be. I want to hear that smoke along that beat. I want to hear that beat so bad. Like that lets <laughs> me know these people really. I need that. that every ninety seconds. Because the first time I went on a porn set, it it, it tore my. You been on a porn set? Yeah, and it destroyed whoa, my whoa, entire whoa. vision. Stop everything. Come on, brother, run that. We, we gotta have that. that. We need that. We gotta have that porn. You gotta tell us what Come that on, porn, that porn set. Come on, brother. Huh? So. First, Start of all, first of all, what it smell like on the porn scene? It seemed like it would smell fresh. It don't stink. See? It's a fresh place. It's like, like <laughs> hospital <laughs> fresh or like, like a super clean bathroom. Oh, okay, like they've been lost <laughs> all that <laughs> fabuloso <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm just bullshit. But it did smell good. It smelled, like it didn't smell bad. I didn't expect it to though. I didn't expect to go in there and smell like hot pussy and <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Hot sex. It's like it's an air conditioned mansion. You know, like the porn set ain't really a porn set. It's like it's like a nigga got a big ass mansion. He to rent it out or he use it for the day. You know, downstairs bitches is getting. You know, it's like lights and shit. Downstairs look like what they can't see right now. What we see, like oh, okay. lights and cameras and lights. That's how downstairs. And then upstairs, the room set up the same way. Then it might be a same setup around the pool. You know what I'm saying? Set up like a movie set. You got your craft services table. Only difference is at this craft services table, a nigga might walk up to you butt naked. Butt fucking naked. Jack and like, be like, hey, can you, oh, can you get me one of them granola bars over there? <laughs> you be like, why is he jacking? And you ain't looking at it like it, it ain't nothing. Yeah, because this is what they do. They try to, he, he try to stay pop for the next scene. He ready, because he got to go right back in. So he just needs some Now everybody right else here. on set is not as comfortable as fuck with this. I'm not comfortable with hats, with a nigga standing next to me beating his meat. Yeah, nigga, hey, walk, me, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, man, nigga walking that way like, hey, bro, hand me one of them right there. You're like, what? 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 Nigga, <laughs> let me, I'm going to say, I saw this recently. The, the porn is, is, I liked what they're doing with the new camera work. I can appreciate that. It's got great quality now. Yeah. But these type of porns, I don't know if they got a title or not, porn. but these cameramen is talking shit. The, the cameraman. Oh, that's called POV. That's what they're yeah. POV. He talking, POV. but he be talking like it's his dick. Yeah, yeah take it, take it. Yeah, take I, don't, it. I, don't, I don't know. Nigga, one cameraman, the dick fell out, he grabbed the dick, put the dick back in. Yeah, nah, I man. said, you ain't gonna say nothing about this? And nigga, no, nah, He touched nah. your dick. You, nah, man, it's, it's just work, bro. It's just work. Uh, no, it's not. It's not work. I quit. Damn, damn, damn. You can't take the dick and put it back in. I got it. Yeah, I got it. You put the dick back in. That's that ain't even your, that's not your dick. That is not your dick. That's why I draw the last. Yeah, the, the word He for, taught, he grabbed the dick, put it back in. What, what they call cut and the lighting guy gotta come put it back in. Now, Everybody be still. <laughs> It's like, Tim, get in there and put that dick back in. Because you up under the wrist like this, so you can't get, like, you hold it. They're like, no, nah, you can't get to it. You just hold her. You just do it. Man, man, you like, hey, 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 fam. Look, I can reach back there and do it. Nah, you don't move. You don't move. No, 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 Tim, grab his dick. I don't need that. Grab the base of his dick. I don't need that fucking pussy juice on your hand. 
Tim, get in there. <laughs> Tim, grab the base of his dick for me, please. Hold it right there. Okay, fool, I'm gonna need you to put your hand, your hand in the same place where it was. Uh, Tim, when I yell cut, okay? When I yell cut, I'm gonna you get back in there. Foot. You get back in there, grab it by the base, and make sure it goes, okay? Bro, that's too, it's too much. Man. My bad, fool, go ahead, man. No, just, I mean, seriously. But it's like the whole, the whole day is like, it's like, all right, all right, let me get, let me get, okay. Get, see that? Let me get your leg up high, high on the shoulder. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Mike, angle, angle left. So you, you, like, like this, like this, over here, right? Okay, wait, yeah. right, here, right, here, right. Okay, right there. I heard. All that. right, action. And he only hit it for like eighteen strokes. All right, cut. Let's move to uh, upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> like you're like, whoa, upstairs. Yeah. Nigga, you yeah. want me to walk? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to pull you out? You only get to hit it for like eighteen strokes. You maybe, want me to pull out? You want me to pull out? Nah, nah. You want me to pull out? I just realized I can't pull strokes. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven strokes in, you want me to pull out? Get out of here! I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Walk upstairs. Walk upstairs. Feet numb. Upstairs. Nah, but I gotta get that. I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm four pumps away from it. No, no, no you better not get it. I close this damn phone. You better not get it. I close this thing. You better not get it. You five. Oh, you going to five if I bust off? Bust if you want. I got some more. No, you better not get it. You want that net. Oh, man. I want you to bust so I can fire the shit at you. You better not get it. Why they fire you? Shit, because I need a nigga that can take direction. Damn. Say it's your bedroom. Nope, don't this you do nasty it. You work in production. You work it. And if you don't want to sling dick for Luthers, right? Man, you can get some out of here. And these motherfuckers are there for hours. Yeah. And it's like, if you see them and stuff, like, I'm seeing a bitch get up, like, from land. She's been laying on a rock for seven minutes. A, a real boulder, nigga. <laughs> like, and this nigga's holding her legs and hitting her, and her back scraping and scratching this goddamn rock. This bitch get up, she bleed. Back bleed. They like, all right, uh, let's wipe her off and get up. Let's, let's get inside. Let's get one inside the shed. Like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, this bitch gonna die tonight. Mm -hmm. like, and the girls there's gonna nothing get paid. Comfortable. The girls gonna get paid to the end of the day. <laughs> there's nothing comfortable about. Ain't nobody in the deposit? Nah. Ain't no porn deposit? <coughs> nah. And, uh, and, deposit. and ain't no insurance. So all that, all, every time you see a porn, and a nigga got a bitch upside down on her neck and shit, you like, ooh, he's gonna break that bitch neck. He really is. Yeah. Everybody like, like, so so much is get broke. I yeah. never even looked to the legalities of porn. There's no insurance for porn stars, bro. And they treat black porn stars the worst. I hate well, to I get, don't know. I hate to get I don't know how like, like that, then, bro. But yeah, they treat black porn. They treat black female porn stars the worst. Like what? They got a fuck in the back. They can't. Yeah. My nigga, my nigga, A. B. Hodge. Yeah, fuck in the back. My, my nigga, A. B. Hodge, little young comedian down in Houston, Texas. He's the one who brought it to my attention. He was like, I was watching Pornhub one day, and I realized. A. D. Yeah, I know A. D. Yeah, he's, and he said, uh, I realized the porn titles is racist as fuck. He said the white ones be like blonde, blonde slut, you know, blonde, uh, blonde freak. He said, then the black ones be like, black bitch. <laughs> black dirty dog bitch. Dark skin, hoe. <laughs> and that's because it'd be a nigga named J-Mo who wrote the titles for the black poet. A nigga named J-Mo that been gangbanging since he was 17. They picked Game him up. Gangbangers are starting to get into porn. They, 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 they picked him up off Crenshaw and J-Mo was like, hey, these niggas be real gangbangers, boy. At first, I talked to a nigga. That's why you have first one that they was porn on was Wesley Pipes. Wesley Pipes. Yeah. And That's then after first, that, I thought them niggas was just pretending to be gangbangers. Nigga. Until I seen a nigga tattoo. He had a real life gangbanger. Nigga had a real life gangbanger tattoo all down his arm. Third generation. And South he was choking a bitch and fucking her and down his arm. I was like, oh, that nigga yeah, really. M13. That on nigga really gym. bangs with gang. You like that? Yeah, yeah this nigga. M13. That nigga <laughs> really, like, really bangs with gang. You can see you can see it sometimes. You be like, hey, some, this nigga I still got thug dust on That him. nigga like, is smoking that smoke. <laughs> doing that <it> dope. <laughs> Gang banging. <laughs> 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 ah, ah, Smokey Robinson's number one hit, everybody. Hey, like, we can see gang it. Like, niggas be having, porn, be having cameras in the, it. Like, some of these niggas got full porn companies. 
and all they do is rent the hotel out. It's two niggas from the block. It's three chicks from the block, and they is getting it down. Oh, like some of the some of the titles be killing me. Uh, four thugs take on lesbian gangbanger, turning her back out to the other side. It be like, who wrote this shit? Uh, the nigga from I don't like the Unsolved Mysteries. Three pimp niggas flip a police bitch. <laughs> <laughs> be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Three pimp niggas now, when, I do the watch, police, when I do watch regular porn, like when I'm not watching amateurs and I want to watch some shit with like regular porn stars in it, that's the type of shit I like parody shit. Okay, let me ask y'all this question before we get off of this stuff. What's your favorite category? Yeah, that's that 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 that'll get that'll get that'll get crazy. That's too much. But I think for me, I said it, amateurs. And then I like the parody shit. too broad of a scope. I like the parody shit. Parody, okay, like this ain't good time. Yeah, this ain't morning. Game of Bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got called out. I love those just for the titles. I want to see how clever you gonna be with the title. Come on, give it to me. I like, I got called up in the two of One, um. Die Hard, one, three, I got caught up on them glory holes. You know, you just, just putting your dick in the wall. Yeah. And, and some bust random, a hole out there. Some random person. And then come random up. bad chunks just come in. Oh, no. He'll be like, I what, is, what, is, what is that? Hold on, I'm worried. I, I don't know why. Somebody just come get the goblin in your meat up. You, you throw your hard dick through a hole of hope. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. I better not go to no club and the bad me got a hole in the wall. Because I'm putting my dick in there. You know, dick in there. My dick's going in that wall. <laughs> I didn't put in my dick. Just on your side of that yeah. wall. All right, yeah, you throw your finger in there first. And then I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look through the hole and see what's on the other side. Yeah, and it's, oh, okay, it's like all color. it's all women over there. Uh, That's a women's bathroom over there. That's a women's bathroom. Yeah. Everybody can get it over there. So I just yeah, put that like dick it. out and just waiting for somebody to be like, "Oh my gosh, girl, look at that!" <laughs> and I'm just sitting on the other side like they like it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I swallowed that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they like it. They like it. They like it. Uh, something happened. And this is my mind. In my you mind. You just get your dick in a hole. Now look. With your stomach pressed up against that cold yeah. linoleum yeah. wall. And I'm listening. And then like <laughs> four of them, four bad chicks come over here and just take turns. Like, oh my gosh, don't tell nobody. And then I kind of go tell nobody. It's only eight of us in there. And I'm like, eight. Hey. <laughs> I won't take my dick out and be like, hey, what y'all look like? Hey, can't be Because uh, uh, your dick is already in the hole. Eight ugly your dick is in the mouth wall. assassins. Your dick already in the wall. You, yeah. can't, be, you can't be picky. They don't look like nothing. Your dick is in the wall. But what they mouth do hey. is the work of the heart. Eight mouth assassins. <laughs> you can't be worried about what they look like if you throw your dick to a hole. I'm going to put my dick out there. You put your dick in the wall. What's your dick in the wall? What's your dick in the wall? What's your dick in the wall? It's in the wall. Your stomach is touching. This cold something. brick wall. Go with it, good brother. Now he just stuck his dick in the hole. He no, you stuck your dick in the hole. I made your boy Black Run. I've been out there for a while. I've you been, stuck your dick in the hole. I've been a swinger since I was nineteen and twenty. So I, Ryan I put his dick in the hole. I, I went to a, a, LA, a LS party. <laughs> what they call a swinger party? You know, say LS mm-hmm. party. And lifestyle. I, I saw that thing. For those of you who don't know, it's called um, lifestyle party. Boy, you didn't been. You didn't been. So I noticed that they had a. a, a a, a room of oddity and proclivity. Mm. Let's just oh, say. Oh wow! That. Okay. Yeah. So, damn with the words. On one end of the room, they had a glory hole, and the reason why I didn't put my meat through the wall <laughs> is because I noticed that the wall was <laughs> rather thick. The wall was about two to three inches thick, and I didn't want the wall to cheat me of my edges. Bitch, walk in there, bro. You cheat my beat. <laughs> bitch, you pull your dick out and explain. <laughs> look, it's a thick ass wall. I got more dick. I promise you, I do. It just looks like that. Hey, you know the slow edge of the wall, right? Here, right? <laughs> who made the, who did the blueprints for this thing? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> This is this is definitely a club all by me. First of all, black first of all, your balls is down there, so you can't you can't go all the way to the hair. <laughs> On the wall, no damn way. So that's gonna cheat y'all for a good inch, inch and a half. Then so the, you were about the, you were about the. Then the wall, two to three inches thick. So you already five, five and a half inches gone. And some smart ass woman on the other side, like, put some more dick in the wall. <laughs> take some more wall. See, it, take some more wall. So I can give you some more dick. Have you ever thought about too much wall, not enough dick? Yeah. Put your mouth <laughs> in the wall. What's wrong with your mouth? This enough? It's enough hanging out that wall. 
You can get Motherfucker it. Motherfucker go in there and chisel away a space in the wall that fits right up to here. Hey man, listen, somebody go on the other side. Set your neck in the wall. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I built a harness into the wall. Just stick your neck in the wall. <laughs> Bite some of the wall away. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Hey, hey, Chew on the wall a little bit. Bitch, you ever had corn dog? Hey, take that top off. <laughs> bite around my dick. Just start biting around it. Dick, I'm gonna fall out. Dick, what the hell? Dick, I'm gonna fall out. What is going on in this podcast? <laughs> How do we get the dicks in the wall, people? Dick, I'm gonna fall out. Ah, bro. Let me tell you something. Too much <laughs> walls, too much walls, man. Man, listen. Sometimes it take it take being in a situation to find out like you ain't as nasty as you thought. And I was like, a glory hole situation gotta be like one of them bathroom partitions that's only like half inch thick. Yeah. And they just cut a hole through that or a car, yeah. piece of cardboard. Otherwise, nigga is cheating itself. Bro. And cut like two ball indentures. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. like, yeah. Yeah. But see that, see that, see now, y'all getting y'all missing the whole purpose. Of the 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 <laughs> oh, first of all, I just want my balls in the rest of the time. Hold on, I think you two gentlemen are missing the point. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. But listen, gentlemen, the glory hole ain't for y'all. You just put your dick in there. Yeah, I know. You in there trying to fuck through the wall. You ain't what that's for. Hey, you can't do it. You're doing too much. You just put your dick in the wall and you, you relax. Just sit there. So that's I'm, I'm slow footed, so I can actually stand flat up against the wall. But most niggas can't put their body flat <laughs> up against the wall. That makes sense. I'm Damn, I never considered that. Like, the way yeah, I'm slow footed, so my hips turn out. My feet mm. turn out, so I can actually. So you just got to have dick for this blood, though. You can't just be no, no, you can't be no, you can't be no mediocre nigga flunking with this glory hole shit. You got to think about the trajectory. Oh, you're going to burn your knees. You're going to burn your knees. You're going to burn your knees. You're your shoes. Man, most of these. You got to take your shoes off when you go to the Most of these porn positions, bro, you got to be a old. stupendous dick having ass nigga to do, bro. Like, can't be no average Joe. Fucking the bitch on one leg from behind, from up under. Hey man, I see You don't need to slip out I on like the fourth nigga. stroke. I see the nigga. Now, I know I can't do this simply because my leg ain't long enough. I see the nigga behind a bitch. He's on, he's behind her. He got her by the waist. He's hitting her. He takes this leg. Oh, yeah, puts, puts her on neck. Up and puts oh, that bitch no, shoulder. He puts it on the side of that bitch. <laughs> and he is. Standing on her face while he's looking at her. Ain't no issue. I said, man, why is he doing that? He's standing on her face. Let me say something. His hand, his foot, Diddy. He, he, he didn't he's plan that. He didn't plan that. No, that he's, was, in he's in the heat of the moment. He's in the heat of the moment. He's in the heat of the moment. Because when you're in the heat of the moment, you try it. Bitch, you go for it. You know how porn stars have a move? Yeah, like if you watch porn a lot, you know what I'm saying? Whether you want to or not, you start to get familiar with people. Niggas moves. Have hey, that's why I stopped watching Rico Strong. This Stone. nigga, that's, this nigga, like, every time I've come across this nigga, <laughs> he is with the same. Hey, I know, I know the nigga name. Cold why body. do you keep putting your Cold body? Cold body, I know the nigga name. Man. And the nigga has won several awards. Oh, he's got plenty of Woody's. Who is he? He's got all kind of Woody's. Um, which is a pretty much an all white. <laughs> it's like the it's like the porn Oscars. Oh, me and Billy went to that. So yeah. most most white porn stars win that hoe, and the only nigga that was winning was Lexington Steel. Mm. So now this nigga here come Prince Joshua. Lexington Lexington fucks girls while he talks like this. Yeah, that boy got his own dick. He even moves his mouth like this when he talks. Yeah, he, he got, got his own dick. He, he got action figures. He says things very weirdly, and he talks. And he moves <laughs> his mouth like this when he fucks people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's he come do in here. Lot, he do a lot of come coke. in here and let he me get that pussy. Like, yeah. I'd be like, who is he? He even do that when he gets in here. He goes, ooh. Ooh. He is a. Ha! Ha! He that nigga. He, who comes like that, bro? Who comes that hard? Stop it. Ha! 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 Oh, thank you! Ha! Thank you! <laughs> who the fuck does that? Okay! <laughs> My grown man. I like it! I like it! 
What's going on in the community? What adult male does this? I got a bad question. What's what's happening to all the lighters? Every time I send a lighter that way, it never comes back. Oh look, now all the lighters are popping up and one goddamn time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Miss. We're gonna pay some bills and we will be right back. Yo, to the best podcast in the whole wide world, best storytellers, we want to give you this right here. An award. Award for being the best fans that we got. Come on over to patreon.com backslash did you miss me podcast and make sure you support us. Join us over there. As well as, huh, get all the new merchandise we got. Did you miss me podcast.com. New merchandise. You see it. You see it. Take it in, bitches. We all up in this thing. Exclusive content. Only on patreon.com. Black owned. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Y'all thought we were gonna come back? Back up in the stage. Did you think we were not going to come back? Oh, we, we miss y'all, man. We stay missing y'all. Fool. Man, look. So we didn't get you ever you ever you ever like get into a situation. Like I've I've heard that too much of anything can be a bad thing. That's what the people say. That's what they say. That's what people say. That's too what much of anything can be a bad thing. Too much vagina, baby. And I'm like, not something that I really like. There can never be too much of something that I like. I remember a story of a young man that died because he was forced to drink water, too much water. Mm. Yeah. You can get too much water. You can drown. Yeah. And I, I, I just was like, nah, if it's something I like, like I, I, I like pizza, I can eat it every day. But then it's like, nah, if you eat pizza by the third day, you're like, fuck this pizza, man. Shit. If all they ever served was pizza for the rest of your life. Was pizza. You'd hate that pizza. So, since we talking about porn and all that shit, I've always liked me a good squirt. Come on, man. It's always been my thing. Come on, okay, man. now this thing ain't got nasty, y'all. Come on, man. Always Come on. been my thing. Now this thing ain't got wait, nasty, y'all. Is this Patreon content? This is not for Patreon. <laughs> okay, this make is sure you raw sage around here now. for the public. Take the kids in the back. This is for public consumption. Hey, you gotta do a Vegas sound yeah. for the squirt. For the squirt. I got the goddamn button over there. It's the come up, up, hit that bitch. Yeah! For the squirters. Yeah, we got yeah, we got South For the squirters, goddamn me. We, we ready now. Shit. Let me tell you something. I love me a good squirter. Always there. So I met a young lady. She uh she tells me, she say, we, we meet while I'm working on the show. And uh, we hang out and talk. And a couple of weeks go by. We've been on the phone talking. The next uh, situation or next show is coming up where we're going to run into each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so she like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be there. I'm coming down. Because anytime I come down in the little region where she's at, she comes out. So she like, yeah, I'm going to be there. So this time, I'm like, well, we going to hang out and, you know, get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? So we hang out, kick it, and uh, we get, you know, we drinking, having a good time. And she like, listen, you got a room. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm with this my bag. I'm gonna come over and hang out with you. I was like, all right, cool. Now that's straight. I would love that. So we hanging out in the room, and so she leaves that night, cause I'm gonna be here two more nights. Mm-hmm. She leaves that night. Nothing happens. We just have a good time drinking and hanging out, talking. Fool. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think I know where you're gonna go with this. What's her name? We gonna need what is that woman's name? All this other beautifulness. Yeah. We gotta have that name. Sliding is gliding, but uh, oh, we got that. this woman's name is Katrina. Mm. Oh shit, it was a hurricane. Okay. And for this episode, yeah, we'll just call her Hurricane. Let's hurricane. just call her Hurricane. Let's call her Hurricane. Hurricane. But you can call it Slurricane. <laughs> so, uh, that day of Katrina, she, 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 mm-hmm. she, she leaves that Katrina. night. Little Hurricane. Little Hurricane leaves that night. Wishy-washy. Cause she like, wishy-washy. <laughs> <laughs> I let this juice bust with. <laughs> Listen, so she leaves that night, nothing happens. And, uh, but we get a lot, it's a lot of sexual tension. Yeah. It's a lot of like getting close, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on, like, 
fuck? No, I what kind of Disney movie is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? The fuck? If you don't pull them titties out, let's get this going. My but, mind's telling me no. But I'm a gentleman. So, hey, you know, hey, listen, that's not, I have no expectations. If that's not what you want. No wrong. expectations. <laughs> I like hey, it. Hey, I, like I say it. that a lot. No expectations, no limitations. Yeah. Hey, I, I like that. I like for nothing. See, I ain't never added that extra, that yeah. last part. I'm going to throw that in there. Yeah. I'm going to throw that on there. No expectations. Yeah. But there's no limitations. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever it's going to be is what it's so, going to be. I like all expectations. <laughs> With no limitations. <laughs> I expect all out of you. I'm expecting all this shit to be unlimited. Let me tell you why, so me tell you why I don't put no expectations on anything. Because if you don't put no expectations on it, you can't be disappointed. No, at all. But if you envision it with expectations. Yeah, that doesn't mean you got a healthy imagination. That's why I mean, you don't expect it. I'm expecting it. I anticipate it, but you didn't ask me what I was anticipating. Uh, yeah. You asked me what I expected. Like when I wanted the Bulls to win, I would say they was going to lose. Yeah. Like when I go to they ain't gonna win, they can't beat them. When I go to Burger they can't King, beat them. <laughs> when I go to Burger King, when I go to McDonald's, I am, I anticipate good service. But when I go to Chick Fil A, I expect good service. Ah, you feel what I'm saying? Ah, gotcha. And if I don't get that good service at Chick Fil A, then there's a problem. But if I don't get that good service at McDonald's, I've right? laid no expectations on this woman. It's just like, hey, however this night goes, how it goes. I'm with. Her. So she leaves. <laughs> so the next day, she's talking to me about last night and about how hard it was to just leave and how hard it was to not. And I'm like, so why did you? I was like, there was no, you know, you don't have to ever be afraid to be you with me. You know, so uh, just go, let go. She's and I like, like that. She said, no. She said, I've got a secret. Now, here's my thing. You can't tell me. Ryan, you got to go. Okay, you come over here. I didn't touch the stuff. Stuff. You did. <laughs> come over here, fucking up. I fixed the hat. You touched the stuff. You came over here, fucking up. Tip. We had them perfectly cocked off and everything. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the so I have no expectations for the night. She keeps telling me about how, you know, she wish, you know, and how hard it was to leave. And I'm like, well, why didn't you just, you know, let go? She like, well, I got a secret. Some, you know. It's, this is something different about me. And then, like, I'm the type of nigga you can't say that to. Right. Because I immediately think, oh, this bitch, man. Yeah. What is he? That nigga, well, wolf, like, what the fuck? You a boy like, or a wolf? <laughs> you a boy or a wolf? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, there's no other, like. I'm going to cut the lights on. There's nothing else. Open them drinks. There's nothing else you can tell me that's going to keep me from fucking you. And I might still fuck you if you're a werewolf. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to fuck you. I might you know, still Cause I wanna fuck you till you go Whoo! I might take that chance that you go wolf out and, 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 and tell me the truth. I'll take that chance. You know what I'm saying? But it's gotta be one or the other. So which one is it? I'm gonna fuck a werewolf just to say I did. So I don't wanna fuck no werewolf. Then what? A bitch that could turn into a whole animal, literally? Hey bro, how was it with Denise last night? Oh she was an animal. She was yeah, but like, I mean, what you mean? Oh man, I got to fucking that bitch. All of a sudden, her feet got big. She was fur. You cool with that? You was like was fur. You would be cool with that. Her body. If a woman started transforming into a werewolf, you would be like, oh, what? No, not if she started transforming. If I knew she was a werewolf and we was fucking, no, no. Cool part like, is, I want her to just get to the point where she like, like, like she, like her teeth show and her <laughs> eyes, and her eyes like, like Michael Jackson. I, I just want her to get that far. Like, okay, where she go? Where she go? And like her teeth and her eyes glow. I'm like, oh, I brought it out that bitch. No, but but this is the cool part. Every time I stop fucking. She go back to her normal self. Cause if she go full on, yeah, she go full on wolf on you. She go kill you. Yeah, stop. She like, don't stop now. Oh no, see, I'm not coming down. Yeah, you play, you, you play with fire. You play with fire. You play with fire. Yeah, cause you she you was, adventurous. Yeah, yeah. bitch, I got that monster dick. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the boss now, that old. I got that conjure dick. This is you stupid. Yeah. So Trina tells me something's wrong with her. What's her secret? And I'm like, what's, okay, secret? What's, what, something different? What? You said, oh, you're not, you're not gonna like it. I said, what? Like, what's wrong with you, woman? What you got, a shallow vagina? Yeah. What, what's, what's, what's wrong? What is it? You, 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 you want me to spit in your face? Like, I'm like, listen, let me tell you something. I said, 
you never know until you say something. I was like, so let's. It might be my so, shit. So just go. Maybe she got an internal smell. And because that was because she went on to get and ease my mind. And she's like, I'm not a boy and nothing like that. Okay. Oh, Thank okay. you. Appreciate that. Woo! Woo! Right. Woo! <laughs> I didn't know how to hang up. Anything else? I'm good. Let's go. What, what you got? Come on. Come on with it. So she says, I squirt. I was like, let's go. So, where you at right now? What's the problem? I was like, I'm on my way. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. What's your problem? No, 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 no. You don't understand. I squirt, squirt. Like, it's bad. It's a lot. And I was like, God, it ain't bad. Nah, it, it, no, girl, stop it. Huh? What? Shut up. It's too much. Like, it grosses guys out. There's no such thing as too much. Huh? Hush. I've never heard such a thing. I, don't, I know not of the language that you speak. <laughs> it what sounds foreign to me. What is this? Too much. To me? There's no such thing as too much. <laughs> Nigga, I done unseized my sword on the phone. What do you mean too much? <laughs> Bitch, this is what turns. I love this. Come, come. I said, look, why don't you come back on over here? Mm. And she like, no, you know what I'm saying? It's out of control. Like, it's a lot, a lot. I got to see this. I watch porn, like I said earlier. Like I watch porn so much, I know who some of the best squirters are. Yes. Some of my favorites. Flower are. Tucci. Flower Tucci. Huh? Skin Diamond. Yeah. Uh, oh, Skin Diamond she, came late in the game, but skin she showed up. Yeah, she knew. I go yeah. old school for you. This white woman probably fifty nine. Cytheria. I'm Cythera. The nigga said Cythera. Hey, I knew all the names. Whatever. Come on now. Cross the room. You ain't never seen nobody go cross the room. I put an eye out with it. Nigga, I've seen, I've watched porn. I like, I like I've watched porn, porn, porn where it's a bunch of people with a tarp over. What? Bukai. They got a tarp over them while the bitch is sitting there. Yeah. And they shoot across and they pull the tarp up. I watched the one. I watched, I watched, I watched, I watched the one where one. I'm night. like, there's no such thing as too much. Right, you know, lady. I watched one. Get over here. I watched one where it was a nigga. It was a nigga laying on the floor in a female locker room with 30 chicks lined up around him. And he was just laying on the floor beating his meat. And they were just going to stand over him and play with the creature. That's it, it's worth yeah, that's yeah. how I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of shit that I don't think it's disgusting, but I'm saying that's how I'm disgusting. Wow. I think the locker room floor alone makes me disgusting. <laughs> like, so, they, uh, like, so she's telling me that, like, hey, it's, it's, it's a lot. I'm like, no, I've seen it all. Come back over here. Come on over here. She gets to the room. Now, let me tell you something, ladies. I don't know about the rest of these fellas, but if you want to impress them fool, lingerie is not the way. Give a shit about no lingerie. Give a fuck about no goddamn lingerie. Hey, man, I thought I was alone in that campaign. Don't shit about no goddamn lingerie. That campaign for hey, the last two years. Don't waste your goddamn time. I don't know a shit. straight man that gives a fuck about no. lingerie. Now, I want to really care. If you a woman who already, if you just got dope panties and bras, like that's just your thing to wear dope ass underwear, that's fine with me. That's enough for me. I don't need you to go out and buy a teddy that connects to a garter, that connects to some stockings with heels, like... A tank but top. A, a bunch of, a bunch of shit. A bunch of heels. shit I gotta That's take it. off like I like I defuse bombs. You want me to you want me to CIA. destroy your vagina? Come to my room, get butt naked, and just go in the closet and grab one of my shirts and put it up. <laughs> like, one of my drip shirts. Just just grab it and button it up. And put some heels on. And just give me the addition. And then sit on the bed with your legs like this. <laughs> like, come on, man. I don't need all that. So Especially, don't wear no themed ass lingerie. Now I'm mad. Now I'm almost upset. I, I, what you I, mean by themed? Nurse, maid. Uh, I, I, party uh, scene with panties. Come on, man. Fuck out of here with these party Good. scene with panties. Bruh, I got the room with the little sweet. 
So you got the little living room area. Yeah. So I got, I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start in here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna work my way toward the room. Yes, sir. So I'm in there. You know, I got the, the hotel, hotel robe. robe. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nothing else. If you got a suite, it's a robe. When you, when, you, when you pop it like this, <laughs> <laughs> and sit on the couch. Built loose. So I'm just, exactly. <laughs> sit right on the edge so you just kind of hang it right here. So Let it's kind of like out the room. Balls on the cushion. <laughs> Draping over just a little bit. Niggas day. literally be in the hotel setting themselves up. Like, yeah, yeah, she come in. I want to see her. I'm going to give her that drape on. <laughs> right. let, me, let, me, let me close this bit. So I'm ready. <laughs> she gets there. Give me a second. I'm going to get ready. Mm -hmm. Get ready. What the fuck is getting ready? Take five seconds. She goes in the motherfucking room, the bathroom, comes out. Nigga, she has on a full maid. Costume. Oh, shit. The French maid with the, the French maid. I said, bitch, why do you have the hat on? And is the feather duster necessary? Like I get the point. You don't need the actual feather duster. You need a duster. And this ain't bro, this ain't no costume. This she is got real. the real shit. She went and bought she this went shit. She went and put real. some money into it. She went to the costume. It shop. looks horrible. I'm not turned on at all. You're turned off. I'm completely turned off. <laughs> Let me tell you what, hey, ma'am, take that off, ma'am. You look 52, ma'am. Ma take that off, right. please. You literally went up 20 years in age in the face when you came out here with that. I was like, oh, whoa. This bitch, this, bitch turned, this bitch turned into Clayface. Like, that shit just was like, this. I was like, wait a minute. Let me tell you what else turns me off while we talking about lingerie. Don't come out doing no bullshit ass strip tease. I'm good. If you can't dance If you're not a uh, former stripper. It, it, I'm cool, baby. Just be sexy. Mm. Don't come mm. out and do no and a one and a two. No, <laughs> knock it off. That, let me tell you something. You know what I hate? I like, wish I would come out and see your lips going. I hate, uh, I hate data bitch that is currently or formerly a stripper, but this bitch never dances for you. You're like, bitch, uh, can I see some of the nasty shit that the niggas at the club you, get? <laughs> could you date a porn star that don't do nasty shit for you? I, not a porn star. No, you got to go. Everybody else squirting in your face and I can't do man. Stop it. I can't, I can't. She say no. I, I can't bomb it. first in your face. I don't, no, I don't want you stomping on my goddamn head and mm -hmm. shit. No, I, I just saw, I, ain't with it I all. just saw Nathan I just Pops saw a nigga <laughs> stomp on your head. You let, you let. Bitch, you didn't even come home and tell me. You let me find out on porn. I love these niggas, niggas. Yeah. 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 You let Nat, you head. let Nat turn her <laughs> step nah. on your fucking face. Okay, so for what happened with, with, with the, uh. So, now, she comes out. I'm sitting there. She comes here with the. I was like, ah, I'm finna try to stomach through. So I'm taking off the parts of the of the, the uh, lingerie. Mm -hmm. I don't like this apron. Got to go. Let's get, get the, Let's get the apron out of here first. first. Let's immediately get this hat mm -hmm. out of here. I don't know what you think we're gonna spend the feather duster. For the <laughs> you was definitely not gonna tickle my ass with no weird shit. My feet gone with the feather dust. Why is that here? Now we didn't strip most of it down, so it's just like a, a bra and panty set kind of thing. And okay, this is fine. As a matter of fact, you know what? Just keep that on because I'm, I'm almost upset now. So I just I don't really want to be bothered with you. So now we get to fuck it. We on the little couch thing. It's you know I get in there. You know, a good, man, uh, uh, I'm probably about a good seven, eight strokes in. I thought you were just saying, I mean, Open the floodgates of heaven. I was saying, Let it rain. I said, Let it rain. I stepped step back. Now, she been prepping me. She tried to tell you that it's been a long time. She ain't she, had none. We I, I don't know if it was like seven, eight minutes. He Sleep said I was down. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a good host. I'm a good eight, nine ah, strokes. Ah, seven, eight strokes ah, in, nigga. Like, whoosh. And then it was just like, ha, ah, ah, ha. Leg shaking. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Volcano. Oh, okay. Fine. Get back in there. 
getting it in. We having a good time now. Now this time, we going. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. Now I know it's about to happen because I hear that. Like yeah. you know that yeah. you know that sound is about to happen. Yeah. And so because that's when that's when you get happy. That's when you get happy and you straighten your legs out like this and yeah. start going directly yeah. up to you straighten your shoulders up. King, 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 king. I'm trying to murder this motherfucker, right? Because I want it to come. I want it to hit again. So. It hit. Now, mind you, she's on her knees on the couch. She Ooh, stands up. Y'all switch it up. She stands up. No, we been like this. Oh, she stands you up. Ain't shaking this shit, bro. Yeah, cause she on the she on the goddamn couch like this. You know what I'm saying? On her knees. She stands up this time, off her knees, and it goes down onto the floor. Oh yeah. Now, it hit my feet and all that shit. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in there. It's going. We have it's it's good time. It's good time. It's good time. It's good time. Shit. Legs start shaking. Now we she's standing up with her hands on the back of the couch now. How much time is elapsing in between each one of these waves? It's been a minute now. Like we we in the groove. But still, it's like they coming every like Couple minutes is just like five, ten minutes. Yeah, man, it's getting it's getting weird. The like I can literally five, I, ten like, minutes. I can apart. literally yeah. hear my feet splashing and like like you know in the water. <laughs> yeah, that sound where you like yeah, where, where like you tapping your feet in the water. Every time I step, I hear my. It's like I'm standing in a motherfucking puddle, pretty much. So I'm like, okay, all right, all right, fine, you know. It ain't that bad. <laughs> I'm back in here. You try to talk yourself through it. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> All on the couch and the floor again. I'm now at this point, I'm I'm moving. It's like they lose. When they come down, I'm moving my feet. You know what I'm saying? So I can no- I'm noticing her <laughs> getting up. <laughs> she getting uncomfortable with the fact that I don't know want to stand in this shit. Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm straight back here. I don't even want to turn her over now. I don't want to look at her. Because I don't want to see her. Because I don't want her to see my face and how upset I am with what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's disgusting. He's stuck in doggy style. She's like, you you ready? You ready? Yeah. Come on, Hurricane. I'm just kidding. Nah, doing this. Nigga, they completely (laughs) turned the other way. Ah, boy, what you are you doing to Katrina? No ha, 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 ha. You now, like, you like I done went again. from, I done went from slowly just coming out and letting this spray to, uh, you know, now I'm holding this bitch all the way out here. Like, oh, oh, he wants no part of this piss. Uh, it's it's not, not piss. <laughs> So <laughs> it's got a little so, scientific. It's got a little so, scientifically. But I mean, you got to think at this point, as much as this woman is coming, there's a whole toilet to piss on the floor at this point. Yeah, because it's, it's only a little bit in there. But as much as she's she done it, dropped her hand down. Some of that is piss. There's yeah. definitely a lot of piss it's on the floor. Twenty percent piss. Twenty thirty percent piss. My couch is destroyed. Yeah, and mine is sweet. Yeah, I got the little hardwood floor in the front. It's. It's, you know, it's fine, but I just got to mop this shit up. But I am literally splashing yeah. in, in, in bodily fluid. And it's like, you know me, nigga. It's a <laughs> At good, this point. It's a good two, three gallons. <laughs> this is disgusting. The gym is me. It's like, this bitch is disgusting. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I go clean up. I told you it was like, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you want to go in the room? Oh, no, we're not going in there. Oh, we're done with that room. No, 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 she wants to go in the room where the bed is. Mm-hmm. And continue to fuck up. No, 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 we're going to continue to fuck up this room. If we All of this room stay contaminated. But what I'm going to do, gonna what I'm gonna do for the next 20 to 30 minutes is do my best to avoid fucking you anymore. Because I don't want to. I'm done. I do not want this to happen again. I do not. Like, I am in the bathroom drying my feet off. 
Like, I've never had to dry my feet off after sex and I wasn't fucking in the shower. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have fucked her in the tub. I was like, I... how much she could have filled it up. Mm-mm. Oh, that's disgusting. Nigga. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So now I'm like, I'm switched. You ever have one of those weekends where you switch rooms? Because you're going to another city, but it's the same bracket for yeah. shows. So now you switch the room tomorrow, you're going to be in this room, which is over here, which is closer to this spot. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's it was one of them things. So I'm over here, and I switch rooms. Um, so uh, you want me to come? I'm like, oh my God, not really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of do. I'm not going to go buy a tarp. You know what I'm saying? So she's dry. Now she lives like an hour and a half from where I'm at. Mm. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be there for, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, you know, she like, I'm gonna go back home. And you know, she goes back home. So she calls me, like, I'm thinking, of, I was thinking about coming out there again. I was like, I was like, oh, well, you know, my sister's gonna be in town. I got a lot of stuff going on. She's like, I was like, you know, I mean, I, I ain't gonna tell you no, but I'm just saying, I might not really be available. I was no big deal. I got a sister up there. We have to bam, flippy flop, the other shit, some shit, some shit. All right, wait, yeah, fine, fine. I ain't paying no attention. Show starts. She's there, front and center. Ah, God damn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna around this. I didn't invite another date on purpose. Mm. She is making. You ever see like women talk to each other without talking? Mm-hmm. She is doing everything. Let this bitch know that I'm with. Hey, bitch, we fuck that all the time. All. all the time. And then we don't. We fuck this one time, but frequently she, and often. She is making this bitch believe. believe. <laughs> she has made this bitch believe through her actions and frequently different gestures and often. that we fuck all the time until, until this bitch gets mad and leave. Now what? This, yes. So Katrina chased off new coochie? Yes. So at this point, I'm like, I'm fucking Katrina, okay? I'm just... You owe me some retribution. I'm going to put the tarp Gucci. down on this whole tonight. So now I put the towel down. So what you doing? I say, hey, man, you know, the last hotel charged me cleaning fee. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, told that woman last so t- <laughs> Charge me. <laughs> hey, boy, I like you that. Last hotel charge me. Oh, you don't think, you know, oh, you know, you think she didn't? She didn't peel off something and put it. I, I'm not gonna let you pay for that. Oh, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's what I. Oh, you don't, I don't mean, have shit. You, 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 you ain't gotta do that. It. But I mean, what? Well, hey, I mean, you know, hey, but if the spirit moves, you let me use you. Yeah, you tore that couch up. They they made me pay for that. So. That was a pull out. Nigga, she gets there, we get to going. And now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I fucked this woman for about, it was hours, bruh. Hours I dedicated to this vagina, man. I gave it to the woman. Yeah. And she said, hours. Yeah, because the girl I was already with, we had plans and we had the popular X pill. We was ready. I was on. I was. Oh, in, so you was on the pill. I was already. down for the long Okay, time. I thought this was natural dick. This no, is no, okay. This, this second oh, time, it's Molly dick. dick. It's Molly yes, dick. Hey, Molly dick. This second time is it's, it's Molly dick. dick. Listen, hey Molly dick. Molly dick is the worst because you dick. can't nut, but you can fuck all night. So. No. We have an, an an incredible evening. In the midst of this incredible evening, I'm on the downstroke. My phone is buzzing until the point it falls off the edge of the table. Okay. Who who, who is that? I don't know, bitch. I'm over here. <laughs> Not to mention you don't get to ask them type of questions. I don't know you, ma'am. <laughs> But I have given this one. Oh, I don't the, know I'm over here. I'm, I'm over here in your coochie. I've given this one <laughs> awesome dick. I've tanned this one. I'm gonna possibly be looking at the phone. Oh my god. This phone. It goes from that to a different ringtone, which lets me know whoever's calling me has now switched over and started calling me on Facebook Somebody Messenger. Is, oh. You know what I'm saying? Then switched over and started calling me on Instagram video. I'm like, who is trying to get in touch with me right. this bad? That was no coaching. I see my phone. 
Guess who it is? It's Coco Surreal's. What has Billy done? I was like, oh, I'm not answering that. Oh, I no. I get back to work. <laughs> I get back to work. I'm not answering that. It's two, what time is it? It's 3 in the morning. Oh, it's hell no. There ain't oh, nothing I'm good not about that call. I'm talking with the Sorrells family at what this time in the morning. It's falling off the desk again. This time, what you mean she had called you and you didn't answer the phone? This time, answer. it's Billy Surreal. Oh, you know it's a problem. <sighs> There's a guaranteed problem. Ain't no doubt about that. Finally, it keeps going. I finally answered the phone. I was like, now, mind you, I have fucked this woman for hours. Right. She has squirted everywhere. She has disgusted me to a level of disgust that I can no longer handle. <laughs> But because I'm on this pill, I'm very, very accepting this time around. Do it some more. I'm very much more like, you I don't want to be still, but I'm just like, I'm not as bothered by it. You're more piss friendly. In my, in my mind, I'm thinking, fuck this whole time. Yeah, this ain't my, piss this is not my place. You're piss friendly. Yeah, piss friendly. So. You say it like you don't like it. I mean, no, I love it. We, we, I love it. We're just being realists. Just, but, uh, so, as... This, I finally say, fuck it. It's something going on. Something, somebody hurt. It gotta be. I'm getting calls from both phones. This is normally it's one or the other when it's like some fuck shit. This gotta be some real serious shit. That's an emergency. Pick up the phone. Yeah. Hello. Hey man, get your goddamn sister, man. She tripping, man. She punched me in my goddamn face. <laughs> Hold on, Bill. Let me put my pants on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I like, nah, I can't talk to this man with my dick hanging out. I got to get fully dressed. I ain't got to What's up, man? Hey, man, talk to him, man. Talk to him, man. Uh, the line ringing. Pick up. It's Courtney. Let me tell you something. I've been through this situation so many goddamn times. I cannot tell you which story this is or which time this was or what he done this time. I just know he done something. <laughs> All I know is I he spent something. Now I saw this as my way out because mm. I no longer wanted to fuck that woman That's in that absolutely. other room. Hey, I got it into a family now. Hey, listen, uh, my sister having some problems with her husband. I'm gonna need to talk to her for a sec. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I'm gonna just be in here. Yeah, you good? No, relax. I'm gonna go ahead and talk. I go in the other room and I talk to Courtney. For two hours. Mm. Two hours. I sit in the other room at the little table and talk, the little desk, and talk for two hours, bro. Could Molly make you want to talk? Yeah, I'm high. Two hours. Yeah, man, you know what Y'all gotta get a little Whole therapy session. <laughs> I go back to the room. When I walk in the room, this bitch sits up in the bed on all fours like a cat. You ready? I was like, huh? Get me away from me. Am I ready? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I gotta call my sister back. <laughs> I got Devin called yeah. Quinn back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I need you to just talk for a second. <laughs> yeah. Talk another hour go by. I come in there, you, 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 you really everything done. good? I was like, wow. Oh I yeah. I this, this woman for another good hour, two hours. Finally went to sleep. Okay. Now here's where people stop believing the story. All right. Because one, I was stupid. I called this woman over a third time. A third? Yeah. I've been, I'm here three days in a row. Uh -huh. And, you know, <laughs> Three. Now, he don't know when to quit. Let me tell you why I called her the third time. He don't know when to This is what no. she does to me, right? When While she's <laughs> done this second time, the next morning when we wake up, I have to go pick a friend up from jail. Mm. I get a call. Now, I'm out of town. I ain't got no car. But my friend lives here. My friend says, hey, I need you to come get me from jail. I say, is the car uh, at the house? No, you got to just... You gotta find a way up here. This motherfucker agrees to take me up here, takes me up here, 
Then pull the old well. Since I drove you all the way up there, I missed my uh mm -hmm. sister to get the keys. Now she gone. I ain't got nowhere to stay. Who out the bam? And I'm like, well, I start pulling the whole well. I was gonna stay at my sister's house. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just go post up over there like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the well, I can get a room or something. Okay. Well, no, I meant like I can get the money to get a room for us, or I can get a discount on a room. It went from I can get a room to I can get a room for us. To know I would need you to get the room, but I could get the discount for us. I get the discount. But, yeah, it had to so, I'm on it. I'm like, I'm going to just get this bitch a room and not go there. I'm not going to go there. Mm. And I was like, that's just how it's going to work. This is going to really let her know I'm not interested. So I get the room, I leave. Oh, you're not staying here? No, I got a flight to catch early in the morning. I'm going to get out of here. I leave. Well, I'm going to text all night. All night, all night, all night, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. I ain't doing shit. I'm waiting to go on the flight. I was like, ah, fuck it, man. I'm finna go back over here and fuck this one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck else I got to do? Huh? Yes. I go back over here and I fuck this one. It just works all over the goddamn place again. Uh -huh. I get up and I get ready to leave. Wait a minute. I gotta get out of here. I got a flight to catch me on these. <laughs> Can, can we just do it one more time? Oh, uh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. Hell no. Hell no. I got to get right to the shower airport. and go straight to the airport. Uh, I, like, like, maybe like for a couple seconds. Like, what? No, no. I got I to gotta go. So you mean to tell me you just, you, you don't have no time? No. No time. None. Just, okay, well, just get in the shower and then hurry up and come back. Why would I get in the shower and then fuck, fuck you? And then go fuck, come back. What, what are you talking about? Well, just, oh, huh. well, how, just like this, this, um, like a, just a few seconds, like a few pumps. Gotta have it. No, ma'am, I can't do this. I get in the shower. <laughs> I start putting on my clothes. You, huh, you're really putting your clothes on? I just got out the shower, ma'am. Of course I'm putting my clothes on. That is your this team is what people do. When they I get out the shower, when they dry off, off and they put deodorant on and they spray cologne and, 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 and put new drugs Well, I mean, I saw you putting your underwear on, but that, I mean, you're putting your shirt on and your pants. I'm, I'm leaving, man. Yeah, yeah. you're describing I'm getting dressed. I'm flight to catch in, 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 in about 40 minutes. We're 20 minutes from the airport. I'm leaving. Get my shit on. I grab my coat. My jacket or whatever the fuck. I mean, oh my God, you've got at least 10 minutes. You have to put your coat on right now? I was like, no, you know what, you're right. I sat the coat down. I, let's just have a drink with me before you go. Just toast, toast, pour a drink, a toast. I take the drink. When I go to lift up the drink, the drink just goes at my belt buckle. Starts to usher, hey, hey, man, stop. <laughs> really, you're gonna turn me down? What, 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 what kind of guy does that? A guy who's on his way to the airport. Fully dressed. I'm leaving. I'm fully dressed. I got a, I got a fucking Shirley on, bitch. I'm obviously leaving. We're at a it's too hot for this. I'm leaving. I, I just can't believe this. Then she pulls the side, reverse psychology on me. He wouldn't be the first man that couldn't handle me <laughs> and my insatiable appetite. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, ma'am. You wouldn't be the first man who couldn't come to me. <laughs> Did you just turn it to Earth and get on me? That's exactly what the fuck I was thinking. You wouldn't be the first man to turn me down because he, <laughs> because he himself insurance. was insufficient. <laughs> what? Insufficient <laughs> because of my insatiable appetite. I said, man, what is wrong with well, this woman? If I, I said, woman, I didn't say I could keep did. up. I don't want to anymore. I want to leave. I have a flight to catch. <laughs> I mean, you got a few minutes. Oh my God. I said, you know what? You are upsetting me. 
and I don't like to raise my voice when I talk to women. I'm going to leave here. Oh, my gosh. She tells me, well, that's a sexist statement. You talk to women differently than you talk to men? Of course I do. Because I fuck women. I don't fuck men. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole different way than I approach them. I have a whole different way than I approach them. I talk to them softly. So too. now she's going to make me into a sexist motherfucker. And, I, and I'm wrong for this. If that and means that you don't want to fuck me no more, I'll be that. I've, I've, I can't believe I was cursed into this situation. And now I can't, cool. even, be, wow. I can't even be fulfilled, fully satisfied. Wait, Cole, bitch, yo. You remember all that shaking shit? Remember all that? <laughs> you remember all that pissing you did on my The piss and the shake? Fully satisfied. I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm so, not done yet. I said, you know what? I see what's happening here. You're trying to upset me. I'm not going to let that happen. You're trying to turn me into a brute. You're trying to make me an animal. You're trying to Mike Tyson me, bitch. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. You're going to get rough, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to get Because in the end, girl, you're going to want another round. I start walking towards the door with my, with my bag. She runs over, slams the door closed while I open it. She's being dramatic. I said, come on, lady. She's butt naked. I grab her arm to pull her. So you're going you're gonna, to you're, you're gonna pull me away from the door? Now nah, she's getting like, Oh, you pulling the white girl card. I said, no. I'm it's the all lives matter card. So you're going to physically move me. And I'm not going to do anything. I said, you're going to move yourself from in front of the door. Get me behind the so door. So now I'm me. thinking to myself, I say, you know what? I'm not going to touch her. I'm going to grab the handle of the door. And, you, and I'm going to move her with the door. Door, right. You never touched her. I never touched this right. woman. <laughs> the door slammed her into the wall. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> So I grab the handle and I, I pull it forward. When it hits the back of her heel, I say, hey, I'm going to continue to pull the door <laughs> forward. So I'm going to need you to move forward so that the door doesn't hit you. I'm not moving, Kevin. Oh, now nah, you want to use my real name. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> I so I didn't, I didn't yank it. I slowly, really, really, really? You just, really, really? You're just going to push me out the... Ma'am, stop getting loud, ma'am, please. Okay, I'm just opening the door, ma'am. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing, ma'am. I pull my suitcase into the hallway, mm. and I pull it back my arm, and the door slips out my hand, slams. Ah, now my suitcase in the hall. I'm oh, shit. The ah. Suitcase standing there. Handle pulled up. Suitcase at erect. You know what I'm saying? He ready to go. Ma'am, come on, ma'am, ma'am. Really, really, you just, you, you, uh, really, you just gonna push? I'm not pushing you, ma'am. I'm pulling the door. I'm just and, and slid out that bitch. Let that bitch close. I'm walking down. This woman runs into the hallway naked, butt booty. Are you really gonna do this to me? What is happening right now? You bullshit. Why am Why am I going through this? Really? This is. Go in the room, ma'am. Look, I can't believe you. I trusted you. What? You naked. Katrina, no. You are full on hurricane at this point. You naked. Full on. You put I said, ma'am, what is wrong with you? Just come back in the room for two seconds and I promise I'll be. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come in the room. Oh, you go back in the goddamn house? Mm -mm. Now I'm in front of the door. She's right here. So I can easily open this bitch and slide back out. You're not getting in front of this door again, ma'am. No. Stand you right went back into that what room. Is, what, yes, I did. I'm still He's in there. What is it you have to say? I just, I just want you to know that I really trusted you. I thought you were different. What do you mean different, ma'am? You're asking me so I can to have fuck to like you catch. anymore. You're asking me to fuck you more and I have to leave. I have to go. You don't give someone something like that and then take it away. Just five minutes ago, Ooh. I was insufficient, bitch. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I'm taking away God's greatest gift. I said, listen, I've got to go. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> now I'm trying to this sue this, this woman. I knew that when yeah, I started to squirt, you were going to hate me. I would never see you again. This has nothing to do with that. Matter of fact, I'm going to call you tomorrow. We're, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I closed that door. And I slid down that goddamn hallway. I got out there and I got in that Uber. And the Uber driver is like, everything okay? I'm like, yeah, why? He said, you know who that is? I look back, nigga, she's come out that side door. 
She's got a towel wrapped around her. She, <laughs> hey! Hey! She's you never forgot your Altoids, bitch. I don't need them Altoids. Oh, I'll say, bro. Fresh breath ever again. Bruh. Bruh. If it mean getting Altoids for you. Pull the fuck off, fam. Please pull off. That nigga pulled off. He forgot your Altoids. I have Altoids. never been so you. happy to get out of the Carolinas in my goddamn life. You forgot, you forgot your Altoids. Oh, my God. Great piss story. He's going to play something. Great piss story. That one. That one mm. ruined my evening. I got a piss story. Oh, back to back piss. Yeah, I got a piss it's, story. It's just, it's just pissing everywhere. I was, I was a valet for the Magnolia Hotel, <laughs> downtown Dallas. I was just this. This is New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> so, Peter. Anybody who says downtown <laughs> Dallas Peter knows. Peter. 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 My man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who stays in Dallas knows that the Magnolia Hotel is born with a big red horse on the top of the building. So uh, I was a ballet in 2008. Mm-hmm. One of those lighter stunts. Dig this. Ah, there it is. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm I'm pushing all type of forward whips, luxury automobiles. You stunning them? Vehicles. Oh, you stunning them. Because here's the thing. By it being downtown, it's a private parking structure that's up the block and around the corner from the actual hotel. Okay. And then because it's on it, the front of the, the entrance into the valet is on one one way street, and the hotel sit the front of face of the hotel sits on another one way street. When you bring somebody a car, you got to go up the block, whip it down, bring it round, bust it round, bring it up. Mm-hmm. So you get to stun in that motherfucker. Okay, for you quite a bit. Yeah, so I'm doing my thing in all these automobiles. So I met this young lady. She was in town for a work retreat. She worked for Mary Kay. Now, Mary Kay, every summer in Dallas, holds a convention. Mm -hmm. Everybody from all over the fucking world that sells Mary Kay and that has uh, got a pink Cadillac from selling so much and all that shit like that, they come to the convention. Well, this young lady. You right gotta here, be big draws to come to the convention. You got to, I'm t- you got to be and moved a bunch of dope. Young nigga moved that dope. Yeah. This is a, this is a Kingpin's mm-hmm. barbecue retreat weekend. Who's who, Mary Kay? Yeah. If you a man and you don't want the pink Cadillac, can you get a white one? No, you, no, you gotta get pink. You can get the money for it. You get pink. You gotta have pink. Yeah, but you gotta. You get, getting that pink. You gotta get Mary Kay pink. You getting pink? Not, not pearl not just pink. pink. Mary not Kay pink. pink. Mary, Mary Kay, Kay pink. So, uh, met a young lady young to dig me. She pulled up to the goddamn me hotel in this Mary Kay pink Cadillac. So we already knew what time it was. So I bust up to her and out jumps this silver fox. Now, when I say silver fox. Think Nancy Wilson. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? With the two tone gray hair, it's like dark gray and light gray. I got you. And she had that thing swoop cupped into the short hairstyle, bang, busting down the side, swooped around, faded in the back a little bit. And this bitch jumped up out of that thing Sounds with like a fucking business to me. suit on. And Olivia Pope style. Oh, with the titties, but it was single breast, but oh, it buttoned no. over here to the side. Uh-huh. But it still had titty meat out and the sharp ass repairs on it. Yeah, that in the back as well. Nigga, yeah. It still had titty meat out. I see her. I see her. I see her. I knew she was a grown woman because she had stockings on. You understand what I'm telling you? I woman had on stockings. She had on some uh, some uh, nude, a beige, whatever color they call that, because mm-hmm. she was a light skinned woman. Right. All right. So we're just gonna call her Miss Mary. What's but what's her name? Are we gonna call her Miss Mary? I grew up with Miss Mary. Her name. But what's her name? Her Ms. I heard. I know <laughs> what, what we called. What would you prefer to call her? But what's her name? I, I gotta say, her name. man, we gotta have that. We gotta have that. Okay, her name was Monica. Okay. That's a young name for an old lady. That's a young name for an old lady, but she was only 47. Okay, so young Monica. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's good. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, at the time I'm 22, this is 2008. Okay. I'm 22. 22. 
Speaking of 22, uh, I got 22 ways to make this next commercial happen. So I got to go to a commercial. Oh, yeah, we'll we'll right back. Two and two. Two and two. We'll be right back right after this. Did you miss me? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. David Black Rob was taking us around the world as he was engaging with this wonderful, seasoned young lady. As he called her a silver fox. A Ooh. silver fox, you did what I'm now saying. Now you just approached her at the car. Take us from there. Man, so I walk up to her, I beat all I beat all the other valets to the car, you know what I'm saying? So I walk up to the car, I snatch her door open. And when I snatch her door open, I grab her hand, I head by the car. And when she stand up, she's about maybe a good five two, five three. So I'm like a foot taller than I ass, you know what I'm saying? So she looked me up and down, she was like, My, aren't you a tall glass of water? Yes, I am. <laughs> and I was like, and not only do I quit your thirst, I'm good for you too. Because my daddy had taught me a long time ago that when a when a grown That's woman good. flirts with you, if you say something witty back, God. the banter, you dig what I'm saying? Really? It's, so, it's cat and mouse. This has been lost on this new generation. Oh man, this new generation don't know how to approach no. Put your pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand dollars. What's your cash at, bitch? Like and niggas wonder why the Me Too movement is so hot. There's no like, more game. Niggas, stop. And when I when I say game, I ain't talking about telling a woman a string of lies in order to get what you want from her because you convinced her of something and it was actually something else. Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about game, the actual game of male-female dynamic to give and take the ebb and flow of conversation, the, the, the battle of wits that goes on before you get her in a place where she like, okay, he deserves some pussy. A wonderful game of cat and mouse. That game. <laughs> so, she did the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen a grown woman. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, so, this gets good. I say, and not only do I quench your thirst, I'm good for you too. She hands me her keys, but when she hand me her keys, like she do like this little thing with her fingers, and she looked down off and she dropped them hoes. And them, and, and them hoes hit the ground and shit, and I been down and picked them hoes up because I was still being professional. And I was kind of saucy, like, <laughs> nah, bitch, don't shit on me, ho, because I was, I was being, like, I was being flirtatious because you was cute, but you be ugly to me if you being ugly to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get ugly. And I stood up, and when I stood up and I said, what room will you be staying in? She said, Take my number down and you'll find out. And with her hand, with her fingernail, she went boop. That's how old women call you. On my meat. <laughs> she old. She <laughs> three, three balls. <laughs> I thought she was yeah. calling you. But she was calling you. Yeah, she I, was thought, calling I, I thought she raked your chin or some shit. I thought she was saying come. Oh, she was we would have raked your chin. They'll, they'll rake their nails across your chin or across your neck right here. Yeah, and she was calling like, hey, me. She was calling me. So I grabbed my partner. I said, well, let me get your bags together now. I got my partner over there to bring the bell cart. I said, nigga, hold them bags right. in the bedroom. If you take them bags to that room, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I, I'm, not only I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you last. Right. I'm gonna kill you, whole family. Like, I gotta like, kill you. Gotta go. I'm gonna kill you, y'all. Like, I'm, go. I'm gonna kill. Everybody that's close to you. Everybody got a nine, but you're going to go last. I want you to hurt. And then when, when you've lost it all, right. then I'm going to kill you. Slow. So, like, Slowly. put these bags. Like, just say that, you know what I'm saying, the convention got us tied up. We'll get the bags to you as soon as we can. Give me time to find out what room these bitches in because we can't have our phones on us. Mm. And when she spit the number to me, I was like, oh, I just tell you, I remember. I don't remember that shit. Well, I don't think I didn't remember, though, that room. So, 
I'm holding the bags. She calling now. She had to be out calling. She tripping. She tripping. She mad. But I get off at 9 o'clock. What time is it? It's 8.30. She got there you at got 5. You got she got there at 5. You start off at 30. Where's my goddamn bag? She got bag? there at 5. Where's my goddamn bag? <laughs> Where are my goddamn bags? By the time I Where checked in, bags? it was 5.30. Yes, ma'am. But we had a shift change. Good. Give us a minute to get everything together. We'll have somebody personally bring you your bags. They better bring me my bags. Who bought our bags? I'm glad you asked. I don't know, Ron. Who bought our bags? <laughs> <laughs> I'm knocking on the door. That's how you knock. You're a great deal. I started off fast and then slowed down. He's on the other side. Now. Bitch, I'm I'm here. You're gonna I'm gonna knock until this whole open. You been you've been calling. You want your bath that she, bad? She's in a huff. But in the meantime, she's taking a bath. She opened that she opened that door. And by the way she snatched the door open, she kinda snatched her robe open. And them titty meats kinda came out the front. Uh, the road, but <laughs> not so much the way meats. anything was exposed. Right. But just enough to let you know wasn't nothing holding them back. These bitches can't hold me back. Yeah. And she opened the door and, and and to watch her expression break immediately. Oh, it was priceless. Cause she opened the door like, yes! And all of a sudden she saw it was me and I was like, a little birdie told me a pretty little lady lost her clothes. <laughs> this nigga turned into a cowboy. So, yeah. So she girl like you doing a place like this, huh? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> because I've always, anytime I flirt with older women, I've always pretended to be older than I am. And I was like, well, what kind of shit would a, would a brother like that say to her? I was like, a little birdie told me a pretty little lady lost her clothes. You wouldn't know what I could do with all these designer bags, would you? And she was like, boy, come in here. You play too fucking much. I was like, I just needed a reason to see you after I got out of work. And she was like, well, I gave you my number. I was like, yeah, but I needed to know that you really wanted to see me. And, but uh, since it's heavy you- heavy pressure right there. It's heavy pressure from the top. But since you naked. Naked. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need to put on no clothes. What? Why don't I take a bath? Matter of fact, you have been sweating, steaming, mad. Why don't you get in here with me? Now the thing about grown women is they love to bathe and all. Oh. So they love to bathe a nigga. Oh man. He said, like, one more time. Her wash me down game was was a, was a thing of legend. Mm -hmm. My meat was hard to hold bad. Of course. I'm somebody. I'm, I'm like, Unapologetically hard. Meat, will you calm down? No, nah, don't apologize. Unapologetically hard. I have arrived. Like, no, me. No. Sit up there. Just make eye contact and watch watch. wants to bathe me, she's going to see me. But I have arrived. Me, it ain't time for you to arrive. But I'm here already. You I'm like, me. I got here before you got here. You I've, got been, I've been here chilling. Me says he's in the game. She says, well, somebody don't want to waste no time. I said, yeah, he ain't got no manners. No. <laughs> We go to the bed, I slide in that thing. Sushi gang. Sound like you went raw. You yeah. hear me? Sound like that boy went raw. <laughs> and I see y'all there judging. Hey, that woman ain't got nothing. Right. What does that, that woman ain't got a goddamn thing. She 47 years old, got good credit. Huh? Everything good with her. HMO. Come on, PPO. Huh? But she got PPO. That woman good. All the health care. Stay checked up. She Blue good. Go ahead with and your raw story. Nick. I, and she didn't ask me to eat the coochie. Neither. She asked you? She didn't. I, I, I spent 20 minutes washing the coochie. We get out the tub. She pulled me on the bed, opened her legs, and pulled me down on oh, top of Oh, you don't have a choice. She's a grown woman. She hit you with the grown woman. We began to kiss. You gotta get to it. As soon as that meat got hard, he found himself off in there. I didn't move my hips or nothing. He just bloop. Nope. Now, I should have known by the way he slid off in there. Some shit in there. <laughs> I should have known. This is shit, man. By the way, he found himself up in there so easily. Whoop. He was he just was like, go. Whoop. I'm talking, he was like, whoop. He go. 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 He go
Here you go. I should've known. I literally thought I was I, the only nigga on earth who could do that. I should've, I should've known, son. I learned how to do that in second grade. I learned how to do that shit in tenth grade. <laughs> <laughs> nigga talking about doing the tenth grade. He was getting all the bitches doing that shit. I was like, hey, show me how to do that. Show me how to do that. I'm not gonna do that. Always, always, always some girl in my So, I stood off in that thing. And I, I gave her a look. I, oh, my God. And she said, shh. She shushed you. She shushed me. She said, Mama gonna take good care of you, baby. Oh, she grown woman the shit out of you. <laughs> she is grown woman the shit out of this man. And all I did was nod in my head because the English language had escaped me at the moment. And you almost said yes, ma'am. Now that would've, that would've slightly disgusted me, but I would've kept fucking. At, 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 at 35, that, that disgusts me. Yeah, but okay, at 22, it, okay, nothing disgusted me. I guess She could have burnt garlic meat in front of me. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, oh, okay, so you Yeah, at 22, bitch could throw, you throw up and you'd still be like, you all right? You still trying to fuck? <laughs> 35, bitch throw up, I'm like, let me call you over. Let me call you over. So, all I did was nod. Now, let me tell you something. When you bite the nut, you dare not switch positions. What you do is you focus. You laser beam focus. You find something to stare at. Now, because I was How long are you in there before this? Oh, I'm just, You oh, triggered. Oh, it's, it's, oh. it's a good time. <laughs> Full commercials. <laughs> Full commercials. <laughs> I just got to the party. 50 seconds, brother. <laughs> brother, that thing 60 seconds, y'all. Full commercials. <laughs> brother, that thing wait, 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 wait. Full commercials. Okay, wait. Uh, two minutes at tops. Okay, okay, right. I mean, he wrong. He just got the tub. Two yeah, minutes. just got the tub and me been hard. Just me been hard. Two and blood been in that thing. Two minutes. So I jumped in that thing. And she felt that I was feeling that. And she said, uh-uh, slow down. Take your Stop time. Stop talking. Stop talking, man. Stop talking. That's what she would have got. Don't say nothing to me, lady. Uh -huh. right, don't, don't say nothing to me. Don't say another word. Don't you say nothing. Don't you say shit. Don't make no sexy faces. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? I jumped out there. Get out of there. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. Do some jumping jacks. Do some jumping jacks or something. Get that dick off sex. I jumped out that thing. I said, let me eat it. Let me eat good, it. Good, good call. Till I calm down. Yeah. Frago. I, I went to HBCU. Learn how to eat coochie. I'm good at this. Okay. Got on that 47-year-old coochie. That 47-year-old coochie is not shaved. <sighs> 70s pussy. Huh? That's what she got. She's got a 70s pussy. That thing got a little bit on it. Huh? Hold on, brother. What's the... Oh. Yeah, yeah get in there. Yeah, get in there. Harry. Yeah, yeah Harry and Henderson. Yeah, peel it back. You got the bee box. Yeah. <laughs> it's fully hair. Is it bushy bushy or is it like... She had the all over. She had the dark season. Ooh, okay. Like, like a number two. All over. All okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Number two all over. Did she try to save it or she just let that motherfucker grow? Like it, it looked like that's what it naturally do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And because it looked like she had like some Creole in her or something like this, she had a good grade of hair. Good grade head in there. It all laid down like like eyebrow hair. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was it was it was it was very noticeable, very thick, but she had put some oils in it or something because it was the first time I smelled the latest coochie that had perfume in her coochie. She put it inside. On hers. Mm. She knew, she knew, she, she that's why she, she started knew eventually I was going to be You got to have a choice. She, 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 she you gotta knew get. With, your nose is going to be right on the top. Right all there in with the coochie hair. hairs. You was going to get all that. Yeah, you so got she, to. So it smells awesome. Yeah, she put, she put a spritz of essential oils. Very considerate of her. That's very considerate. Shout out to all the ladies that are considerate. So I'm down there and I'm eating that thing. 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 Now at that time I was a young nigga with the tape fade, no facial hair. So she reached under, she grabbed my whole head. She brought me up. She looked me right in my face. She said, hey, you might want to stop. I said, what you mean? She said, because you're going to make me come if you keep doing that. I moved her hands out the way and I grabbed her hand. That's what I came here for. I came here for, ma'am. That's huh? exactly what Loose I me. Well, can't say no shit. Loose me, like woman. To me, ma'am. That's what I came here for. Fuck, you, you trying to tell challenge me, me with a good time? You telling me that the finish line is right there and I'm at first. I realize what you're doing. You really trying to let it come back down a little bit yeah. with all this fucking talk. Right. Let me not even. She got you grabbed me by the face? Yeah. Unhand me. Yeah. I'm not even going to dignify that shit with a response. What I did do is reach around her legs 
grab her hands off my face because my arms are rather long. Right. And I put her arms to so the you right to the money. body. Right. And I held her arms to the you? size of her hips with her legs over each shoulder. And I got right back to doing Get what I money. was doing. And I got this little move that I do. This little you little signature that I do. I got a little signature when I know that you're about to get to the finish line. Okay. I this is closer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and tell the people. Well, give it to them. They want to tell them. Because want the know. fellas want to know how the lesbians keep on stealing them. Okay. Hey, man, Let them know how to keep You got to be the dildo. You got to be the bullet. Be the sex toy. Mm. God made you a man yeah. for a reason. Yeah. One, thing, one thing a man has that a woman doesn't have is a deep voice. Uh, huh? Put that baritone they on Put that there. baritone on. Put that bass on that thing. What you do is you wrap your lips around that clip and you suck on that thing and you begin to hum in the deepest voice you can muster up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And you put your nose and everything right off in that coochie and you hum. That's going to turn that mouth into a sex toy. So I do my little move, you know what I'm talking okay. about? I get to doing my call, thing. It, call it the Curvy 2000. Yeah, the Curvy 2000. Call it the Curvy 2000. Curvy 2000. <laughs> <laughs> mm. call, it, call it the Curvy 2000. Yeah. You did it with the Curvy 2000. You did it with the Curvy 2000. It's such the clean carpets. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You did it with the Curvy 2000. Curvy 2000. Bring it on home with that, with that Curvy. So I'm, on, I'm, I'm hitting it with the Curvy. I'm hitting it with the Curvy. All of a sudden, her legs shoot out straight behind me. She grabbed my face again, but this time when she grabbed my face, she was saving my life. Because what began to hit me up under my chin felt like warm gravy that's poured on top of my potatoes. Texas tea. I'm talking about jet stream after Gold, jet that stream. is. Gold, that is. Jet, I'm talking about, and remember, I ain't got no face hair, so I'm taking it all to the face. Oh, yeah, that's all raw face. I'm, I'm taking it in. That's raw face right there, yes, I'm sir. I'm taking it in, and, and she just hit me with, squish, 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 squish. Now, I watched Squirt Up that. from the ground came with bubbling Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, I done watched Squirt Up on, 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 on porn and shit at that time, so I knew what it was. I wasn't offended at all, but oh, I feel like is. I got to see this now. So I jumped off in that thing and I got to hitting that thing, but she said hit me from the back. Now, one thing about an old lady, she she eats for her health. Mm -hmm. She don't eat just to be eaten. Mm -mm. And, and when you come, and you come hard, all your muscles push out. Yeah. You can't help they with that. They contract and then release. Yeah, they, they contract <laughs> and then release. Yeah. I was hitting it from the back. And as she began, as she began to come the second time, I knew she was coming because that warm mashed potato gravy began <laughs> hitting my balls. Stop running down your thighs. Hit my balls, hit my thighs. Like, I what say, is this I say, running? I say, oh, it's happening again. It's happening again. <laughs> and I got down by the coochie because I wanted to see. It. <laughs> <laughs> and the booty said. <laughs> <laughs> It hit, me, it hit me with a series of small little baby poops. Yeah. Like the booty was like, ooh, 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 ooh. But it was definitely wind behind it because uh -huh. I heard each one of them distinctly. Yeah. Now she ended with, with five little, like, think of a 22 pistol, but if it was a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the smallest penis you would think of with the smallest. <laughs> I'm talking about, but, but, ooh, but each one of them hoes was strong. She yeah. This man said, she I don't, she I don't, it I don't know if she had been eating beets and rutabagas and, and cabbage and broccoli. Why did you put your face down there? Because I had wanted, wanted to, to see. see it. Well, why did you have to get that close? Like, because I had never seen a woman to be. squirt in real life. I get it. You know what? Not questioning, like, uh, you shouldn't have. It's more of like, what was it about? Now, let me tell you what led me to this point. Why'd you get down there? This lady gave me drugs. Uh, this was the first time I had tried Molly. Oh. You at work? Yeah, but when I got off work, I'm off work. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, you can do that at the Magnolia Hotel. Because once I take my badge off of my vest, I'm just a nigga in a nice dress oh, shirt. Oh, you can do that at the wind. the wind. You get your ass off that campus. Out that property once you clock out. Don't you oh, still can't be on there? Oh, no, no. See, it's yeah. downtown Dallas. I mean, I still go up there, but it, it's, it's downtown there. Dallas. So I, I know how to change clothes. You know what I'm saying? I know how to throw a hat on, put a jacket on. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm just a fly nigga in a dress shirt and some black slacks. You and some, some some moderately reasonable looking shoes. So this woman didn't give you Molly. So how many? Just one capsule, tablet, what like a little 
they ain't look like you could bust it apart and the little things yeah. would come out of there. You know what I'm saying? Cap, uh, Captain. But she told me it was Molly, but it, okay, now here's the thing. I'm 22, I'm trying to impress this 47 year old lady and let her know that I'm cultured, and bitch, you ain't, you ain't missing me. That nigga said I'm nothing. cultured. You know what I'm saying? So when we got out the tub, like no, before we got in the tub, she was like, let's toast to the, to the evening. You know what I'm saying? Let's, and she was like, hey, so I wanna, I wanna go somewhere tonight. I'm like, well, you, where you want to go? Bitch, I'm Dallas, I, this is my city. I got my car. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, 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 no. no. Uh, nope. She says, I want to take a, I want to take a wild ride. I was like, well, bitch, I mean, I ain't got a license. It's going to be a wild ride. <laughs> but so, I drive the shit out this car. Please get by this. It's going to be a wild ride. She was like, no. Uh, have you ever taken MDMA? And I was like, what the fuck is MDMA? And then she said the long ass scientific name right. Right. Yeah. I was like no bitch that's not what I meant when I said what is MDMA I mean what they do what they do <laughs> what they do and she says you ever heard of ecstasy love potion no she said you ever heard of love potion number nine I said what's love potion number nine she said you ever heard of ecstasy I said yeah but she proceeded to give me a long historical history on what the fuck ecstasy is supposed to do and what it was meant for and she said and if it's alright with you I'd like to take that ride with you so I'm full of money when we get in the tub. I think that's why my meat was hard for the whole damn bag. Fuck yeah, you. Nigga, you in a warm ass tub. Body full of Molly. A body full of Molly. And a naked 47 year old woman at your 27, 22 years of age. Nigga, and I'm you. talking about she 47 or something about a 47 year old woman that, that like takes moderately decent care of herself. All her regular parts is just soft enough to where it's all right. It's like her fall off is still like. Still yeah, I can work with that. Right. Because her good parts are still good as hell. Mm -hmm. Them drugs get you, man. Them mm -hmm. drugs got me, bro. Because I got right in front of her booty and they shoot the pop, 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 pop. Pop. So each one of them was like. Uh, you might not have been that shit. fascinated to get down there. Had that Molly night went upside your head. Well. <laughs> I kicked it with all night though, cause I, I couldn't drive. My, I, it, all the colors was bright. I ate her coochie like for hours. <laughs> all the colors was bright. Where were the drugs, baby? I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. I let her square me in my face. Of course you did. We we, we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, you, you didn't leak anything. We we actually saw that coming. Yeah. Nah. Who waiting on you to drop it off at some point? Yeah. Like, come on, bro, give us the piss in the face. You got, you got down there to see it. You, you got down there. You she got to hit your face. You definitely wanted something. But ain't we ain't matched. So you can't, you can't know that. Oh, we, we knew. Unless you knew with that. Oh, yeah. Have I been pissed in the face? Yeah. I just seen it on tape. No, no. Yeah, I've seen it. I've never been, uh, I've had some hit me in the chest. I've had some chest piss. Uh, you know how I know, because you like myself, we have chins that jet out. Ain't no way it hits you in the chest. I never, I never got hit I've, I've caught it on the chest. <laughs> Here's what people stop believing the story. Because I've caught her on the chest and be like, and just like, you know, it hit and I take it at the same time, I just grab it. Like, ah. Yeah, you oh, you spread it. Oh, you in it. Oh, you in it. Yeah. Because guess what? Because guess what? Yeah, ah. it turns on. When you, when you bathe in the piss, it's called bathing in the piss. You shy. You can't be like, ugh. You gotta be like, oh, boy. You gotta be like, you gotta be like, you gotta be like, you gotta be like, Ah, more. Right, you gotta go yeah. 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 more. Yeah. I never did that. Like it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had an um, experience with a wild, a wild uh, lady. Um, not piss, but uh, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Hit that goddamn sound. Mushroom stories, goddamn it. There it is. Goddamn mushroom stories. Anytime you hit mushroom, you hit Vegas, you hit piss. Shout out to comedian O.D. Odell, who was the first comedian to ever introduce me to mushrooms in Atlanta. <laughs> mushrooms are powerful, man. That nigga flushing all the shrooms right now. <laughs> like, this nigga front. <laughs> <laughs> flushing all the shrooms out. This nigga told my goddamn name. You got Shit, yeah, nigga got a whole goddamn operation going on. Got a whole goddamn operation going on. This motherfucker went on national TV. I was saying that. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> now, I met a... a, a Fairly wild uh, young lady. Nicole, we'll get straight to it. You ain't gotta worry about me. I'm gonna get you. You ain't gotta ask me. Get us to it. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Nicole, what up, Nicole? How you doing, sweetheart? Beautiful lady. 
sexy. Um, this lady, I'm gonna tell you her race for the sake of the story. Mm -hmm. um, she is Asian. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and something else. She's mixed with something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was so ready. Yeah, I was so ready. Oh, I run that. I, I She's still know. Asian. Yeah. And something. He said, Now I'm gonna tell you her race. For the purposes of the story. <laughs> she was Asian and something else. Oh, okay. That's what she was. So, very cool lady, but uh, likes to live on the wild side. Mm. And uh, she says to me one night, she said, hey, uh, she had just we kind of moved in. So she was still moving some of her stuff in. She said, hey, um, you know where I can get some mushrooms? I'm glad so, you asked. That's a rather obvious question. Uh, but we be open, we're pretty open. You know, we just, you know, it's be open by anything. So I'm like, okay, yeah. So I said, let me call her, we call her the white woman. Mm. The white woman. When the white woman come, fool, you know when the white woman come. Oh, yeah. I, I know when she come. This hey, time, yeah. Man, the white woman plays zero games. Yeah, she, now, she got it. I said, how much you think we need? She said, ah, let's do like an eighth. I'm like, okay, cool. Call the white woman. I said, hey, how you doing? Um, wait, wait. They sell mushrooms like they sell it like weed? Oh, yeah. That's how they do it out here in these streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said, I, I will. When I tried mushrooms, I, somebody just gave me, well, I already said his fucking name. But he gave me just a little piece. And, and I, I tasted it and I got fucked up. <laughs> hey, man, this shit that got me loaded, man. Yeah, that brand's real. That so, brand's real. So, we call the white woman up, all right? We call the white woman. The white lady comes and she brings uh, an eighth. And she says to me, she says, hey, um, I just made these yesterday, and I just got to give you a precaution. These are really potent. I was like, oh, OK. This one white woman gave me a disclaimer about a, a, a mushrooms. Not a problem. Like mushroom edibles or something? No, just mushrooms. Just regular mother stem in the cat. No, so you said, because she just said, I just made these. However, she grew them or whatever. So I don't know what else she did. She just cured them and dried them. They just ready. They ready. So I said, all right, cool. I get them. We go back to her place. Pop them. She said, that's it? I took a cap. She took a cap. She said, do the whole thing. The whole stem and the cap. I ain't never did the whole stem and the cap. All, like, all, all for real. I usually like. Micro does. Take it, pow, woo. All right, this is strong. This is real strong. I said, uh, they usually kick in about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. I said, listen, let's hop in an Uber, go back to my place, I need to pick, a couple, pick up a couple of things, and come back here. She said, all right, cool. We get in the Uber, as soon as we get in the Uber, that motherfucker hit me right away. Mm, all lights came on. We riding in this Uber and motherfucker, it's like motherfucker flashing, flash, flash, light, light, flash, flash, light. And I'm like, oh shit. She said, are you okay? I was like, no. <laughs> no, I am not okay. I'm glad you asked. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm feeling almost sick. Oh man. So she said, how long have we been in this Uber? I said, I feel like we've been in this bitch an hour. Oh, she lost all cars every time. I said, hey, my man, how long have we been in this Uber? He said, you, you just been in. We've been like two blocks. <laughs> We've been two blocks? You just feel like I've been in this bitch forever. Oh, my gosh. It is on two days. What are you talking about? Man, how long are we going to get? We're only like 10 minutes from my, my place. My nigga, we ain't there yet. We nigga. just turned out of the garage. We <laughs> get to my place. We, you literally closed the door just now. <laughs> we get to my place. I run upstairs, grab my shit. I said, I need to get something, to, I need to get something. So I grabbed some juice, took a bunch of juice. I'm, I'm feeling dehydrated. I'm not feeling right. I get downstairs, it's a homeless dude. The Uber's on his way. I'm about to take the Uber go back. A homeless dude down there. And I said, um, she said, are you okay? I said, I think I gotta throw up. I turned to the side. I said, hey, hey. As I'm doing that, a homeless dude is coming my way. He said, hey, my brother. I'm like, I know this nigga's not about to be in the middle of a throw up. Mm -mm. Right in the middle of it. I'm throwing up. <laughs> my brother, you got like $5 on you, brother. You got any kind of change on you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 
He, he said, anything? I said, bro, what's the odds <laughs> of you asking a man in the middle of throw up for some money? If he got some money. And you getting that money. I said, bro, I'm breathing hard. I said, beat it, nigga. <laughs> beat it. Beat it, nigga. Boom. Beat it, nigga. We get back to her. We get back in the Uber. Yes. Get back to her place. Now, I'm on one. So heavy, I'm nervous. Oh, okay. It's running all through your poison. It's all through my poison. I grab my phone. I call food. Mm. On FaceTime. I call this nigga on FaceTime. I call him, I said, fool. Hey, what's up, brother? I said, hey, man, I need you. They were celebrating and shit in the background when he was in. He said, yeah, it's my motherfucking birthday. It's my motherfucking birthday. You having a good time. Man, he having, I'm, I'm about to fuck up his night. I know. I'm about shorty. to fuck up this man's life. It's my life. shorty birthday. We, we having a little, little, little small party. You fool daddy birthday. mother. Mm -mm, no, I'm talking about like. Oh, shit. shorty dip. We yeah. got a hundred boots. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, fool. I forgot. I, forgot I called his nigga. I said, "Hey, man, I need you." He said, "Hold on, hold on." He leave, go to another room. Listen, I'm on the floor, on the raw floor of the room. This face like this, linoleum right here. Lay in the floor. Are you in the public bathroom? No, uh, I'm in the house. I can okay. tell he has the phone propped up. The phone's just propped up. I'm laid there with my face on the on the raw floor. Phone propped up on the baseball. On the raw ass. Floor. It's raw floor. I said, "I need you." He said, "Where you at, man?" I said, "I'm here." <laughs> I am motherfucking here. I'm on that lap. Drop your location. Yes, that's, that's what he kept telling me. Here's what he kept telling Drop your location. I was like, I hear him, but that's a lot that he asked. Where is here, though? Drop the, put the pin down. I, I you hear him, but that's asking a lot of me. And I'm look at me. Look at me. My face is on this piss girl floor. You think I have the ability to grab my communicating apparatus? Search the settings, grab my location, and say, I don't have that. I ain't, that's too much. <laughs> I am asking a lot of people. He said, are you okay? I'm asking a lot of people. Fool is in full. How is my brother doing mode? Ask me hey, shit again. Your brother he said, is out of run. He said, all right, w w you know, where's she at? You got, you got somebody with you? Yeah. She comes into the floor. She was like, hi. How's she on the floor too? He said, why? Why is he on the floor? I don't know. It's a three thousand dollar fucking bed. And he wants to sleep on the floor. I don't get it. I said this floor is giving me comfort. I need this floor. This floor is what I need it's for my cool. lumbar. This is what I hear for. Me. I hear this. I'm crying. I'm and literally she's crying. She's telling me there's a three thousand dollar bed over there. And he's on the floor. All I hear is. Fuck that $3,000 bed. Yeah, yeah, fuck that $3,000 bed. Right? Oh, you're you're I want you in. I want this $3 flow. I want this $3 flow. I want this $3 flow. I did. I did. I came up and had a on $3 flow. This bed is all right with me. Man, that shit fucked me up. $3 flow. Man, this bed is all right with me. So, yeah, man. The, my shoes man, are starting to wear down. Out this blood. My shoes are starting to wear down. I'm like, okay. I'm feeling better. She said, hey, listen, I'm still, I'm still on. She then took some more. I was like, I am, I, I'm Wait, She been up snacking. She up, doing all kind of shit. Cleaning and shit, recleaning, all kind of shit. So when she asked you, this wasn't her first time doing Oh, no, no, she, she do shrooms. Uh -uh. She do shrooms, ain't this ain't no first rodeo. She do this, she the first time of She ain't say, have you ever done shrooms? She said, you know where I can get some shrooms. You know I can get some shrooms. The motherfuckers say, do you know where I can get? That mean they already She had it before. That's what I'm getting down so, like a motherfucker. She comes in, in the room, she checks on me, she's rubbing me. She said, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. She said, I was worried about you. I said, I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm still on it, I'm good. That's the she says, no, I'm okay. I'm like, I can't get right you. She like says, this. you, um, she said, yeah, you scared me. She said, listen, uh, what do you have planned for tomorrow? I was like, shit, nothing much. She said, you wanna help me move a few things? I was like, ah, I don't fucking like moving shit. I hate moving shit. I hate it. Not my thing. She said, it's not that much. Now keep in mind, I'm in a good mood. I'm on mushrooms. Of course. I ain't gonna turn nothing by. Anybody, you ask me whatever you want, I'm, I'm yeah. here. Bitch, it doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm with She you. said, you want to walk mushrooms? Mushroom? Mushroom? Of course. I said, yes. Well, I always wanted to do that. I'll help you. <laughs> I always wanted to walk a giraffe. Always. So, I said, yeah, I'll help you. She said, okay, cool. It's not that much. Not a problem. 
I look up, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. She said, hey, you might as well keep, you know, keep the party going. Call the white woman and just move. For another round? Call that white woman and get another round. Another round? I said, oh shit. Now, food didn't call my phone because I didn't went off the map. I ain't said shit to fool in some hours. I didn't call him eight to seven times. You ain't said shit to fool in some hours. Calling my phone, blowing it up. Eight to seven times. Calls the white woman. You missed me. Early in the morning. She said, I uh, just so happened I'm always up early. Um, <laughs> just what so do you happened. need? <laughs> I said, I need the same thing. She said, okay. Same place? Yep, bring it to the same goddamn place. She brought it. Bam. She said, let's do it like we did last time. Cap and a stem. Pop, pop. Let's go move this goddamn little furniture that you got. It ain't that much. Let's get it. Bam. We hop in the car. We roll it. Let's go move this furniture and, that you got. And we, as we roll it, it ain't gonna be that much because we in our car. I can see this. It can't be that much. We got a goddamn car. She got like a Benz, a little, little, little small Benz. Foolish one. So we roll it and we are talking. Our motherfucking ass is off. You hear me? <laughs> Chatter. Man, listen to me, bro. Me and this woman on this goddamn highway talking. I was got that man off. Me, Baba. And, and we vibing. And she was like, you know, I really, you know, I really dig you. You know what I mean? So you open your eyes. You, you know, you're going to be who you are. I said, you know what? That's why we connect, because you're the same way. She said, you know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's my exit. You missed it. I said, uh. Now you just passed my exit. I said, no, you know, I love you too. I love that woman. I told the woman I love her back. I told her I love her back. I said, I said, I don't know if it's just me, but are we in love? She said, yes, we are in love. We fell in, we in love. The room froze. <laughs> no! <laughs> that boy said, she said, I love you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> said, what? Wait. Yes. What did she say? I told that woman, I said, does it feel like we in love? She said, yes. Yes, it does. Like, we in love together, nigga. Yes, On the way to go move some shit, fall in love. I said, man, this shit feel good. She said, you know what? I feel so good. She said, we gotta eat that whole bag today. <laughs> oh, shit. We gotta eat that whole bag today. You know, I, gotta, I gotta get the fuck out of the car. She ain't uh -oh. tricked that nigga. She, she got me. I'm in there, nothing. She ain't as high as he is. Now I'm in there. She pretended to be just as high as he I is. I am with you, man. I am in there. Fool, we, we just vibing, bro. We pop another one. I look she up. She's about to get you back here, man. Keep in mind, I don't know if y'all remember what time <laughs> we, was, we, was, we started moving. We left. We left at 8. 8, eight, 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 eight in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Right. Now. In the morning. We're riding in the car. It is now 12.35 p.m. Four and a half hours. We've been in this goddamn car four and a half hours. It didn't even dawn on me to where, ask her, where, 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 where the fuck are we going? Are we going? Where, where, where. I said, where are we going? What, where you live, like Encino? Like, where do you live? She said, no, San Antonio. I said, San Antonio? <laughs> We going to San Antonio? <laughs> From Los Angeles. I asked you what you had to do. Why are you, why are you taking me to San Antonio? She said, you told me you would help me move in my things in San Antonio. I said, From you didn't Vegas want to. You didn't, Los we're in Los Angeles. I said, why would you think I would want to know? I, I said, I would be. She said, I asked you if you had anything to do. You said, no. I said, I cannot believe this shit. For two or three days. Nigga, I'm already four and a half hours into this shit. for a little getaway for two or three days. Nigga, she said, <laughs> what do you have to do tomorrow? <laughs> Nothing. Hours. For me to do, do me. You know why? It took five We, 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 we talking. We because we talking. We can't stop talking, nigga. Oh we are fucking talking. Where we going, baby? Reno? No. Listen. Sunday City. And she is like this. Nigga, she is not driving like this. Nigga, she is... Fucking flying. She hauling ass. We getting to where? Nigga, she zooms past a state trooper. She passed this nigga. He already got, she passed him. But she, she's just not tripping at all. Now let me tell you. He wasn't parked, he was already on the road. She, he, this motherfucker's in motion. So I mean, he's doing the speed limit. Answer. Cause they never do. Cause they never do the speed limit. They always be five or 10 over. So if it's 65, he's 75. She hauling ass. But she 95. Now his deal. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm on mushrooms. I'm not tripping. I don't give a fuck how fast she go. Fuck you. How fast she go, nigga? I'm, I'm, we good? I'm weird. Because we feel good. 
I seen her pass that car. I ain't tell. I ain't say this to cop. She seen that goddamn cop. Uh, she seen it like I seen it. Zoom past this motherfucker. He you. Immediately, he throw the lights on. Lights come on. Now let me tell you what's going on that I don't know about this woman. He throw the lights on. This is not a motherfucker. This is a true story. Let me tell you what's going on with this woman that I don't know. This woman don't have no goddamn driver's license. This woman has no body's driver's license. Sounds like, sounds like a woman at the bottom with her. That woman ain't got no goddamn driver's license. She has no authority to be driving this vehicle. You understand me? Gang, gang. That was well. Police stops her. Walks over to the car. She tells me, just relax. I'm relaxed, bitch. I'm really not tripping. I ain't with the crime and shit. I'm not worried about nothing. No, I'm not police driving. brutality, I'm not tripping. I ain't got shit to do with this. I'm not driving. I have nothing to do with I'm this transaction. Tripping. I started to pop another one before he came up to really relax. Without you just give me a punk ass <coughs> weed possession ticket. Walks up to her, to the door. He said, um, Ma'am, <clears throat> do you uh, do you have your license and registration? She said, no, I do not. <clears throat> he <clears throat> said, which one? She said, I have my registration, but I do not have my license. Giggling. Get the registration, right? She, he goes to the back. He says, she says to me, we're going to get out of this. I ain't tripping. Two knee pads. I'm coming really not tripping. This. Worry yourself not, boo. Officer comes back to the car. He says, uh, to Nicole, why don't you have your driver's license? She was like, she just haven't gotten around to it, giggling. <laughs> so my giggling and shit. Just haven't gotten around to it, just moved to LA. He said, uh, have you been drinking? She says, no, I have not. He said, you were doing, you were speeding and you were kind of swerving a little bit. You haven't been drinking anything. She said, what, well, you know what? We did have some drinks like a few hours ago, about six hours ago. What do you have? We had two shots of tequila. Okay, okay. Um, well, uh, Nicole, he, she said, let's just cut the bullshit and give me the breathalyzer. I, nigga, I, now, now I'm nervous. <laughs> now, now, now at this point. She won the voice. Now at this point, I'm swearing my, 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 now my shoes starting to come down a little bit, like right away. Just because I was like, because I was like, okay, goddamn it, you put my life in danger now, ma'am. High blown. You, blown. Nigga, I set up. She said, he said, excuse me. She hit the steering wheel. She said, fucking give me the breathalyzer. Shit, and opens the door, gets out. Oh my God. She gets out, she got these little bitty shorts no. on. She got these little bitty shorts on. And he said, uh, okay, one second. Goes back to the car, gets the breathalyzer. Right. And she's looking at the window. She was like, I wanna fucking pass. I wanna fucking pass. We both know that. I wanna fucking pass. No, we don't, and both, this asshole, we don't both know that. Cause shrooms, can, watch this. can they pop up? And this asshole is gonna be looking like shit face. Watch this. I'm like, bruh, stop talking. I can talk. First Amendment, free must be. I'm like, yeah. oh shit. One of them motherfuckers. Here she go with this shit. Comes over, she says, I already know it. Blow as hard as you can. Give me the fucking thing. <sighs> Blows it. Now, what? He says, where are you headed? To San Antonio to get my shit. I'm like, oh my God, how is this happening? So smoothly for her. He says, okay, ma'am, you know what? Have a nice day. I'm like, ain't no fucking way. What? Listen to this. Ain't no fucking way. She gets back in the car. She's she, she tar turning the fuck up. I told you. I told you. They can't fuck with me. I told you. Oh, she took down there. She pulls off. She pulls off, bro. We have not been paying attention. We've been driving four and a half hours. Ain't nobody stopped for no gas. <sighs> we ain't got nobody gas in this motherfucker. We are out of goddamn gas. We stopped about a mile up from where we left. My man pulls up, state trooper. He gets behind us again. She gets out the car. Fuck! He's like, what's going on? Fucking car is out of gas. He said, hop in. I'll take you to the gas station. And he... Nigga took her to the gas station. Got a can of gas, brought the shit back, filled her shit up. She ain't got nobody's license. Filled her shit up. Filled it up. We on our way back, we going back to it, back to San Antonio. We get all the way to San Antonio. All the way to San Antonio. And the ex-boyfriend that she was dealing with mm -hmm. has locked all her shit out. So now she says, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta drive all the way back 
to Cali. No ma'am, no ma'am, you have to drive all the way back to Cali. Yes, ma'am. You, that's I'm getting on a plane. Yes. You have to take that ride. I'm going to eat these two more mushrooms. Hey, I'm going to fucking I'm going to get in this goddamn plane. I'm going to buy me a ticket. And I looked her dead in her eyes and I said, Did you miss me? God damn. I took y'all right around and dropped y'all ass off. This has been another fantabulous episode of Did You Miss Me? I'm D-Lay. It's your boy, damn fool. Thank you to our special guest, yes, Black Ron. Black Ron, we appreciate you as always, brother. Matter of fact, you a, you a goddamn uh, 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 fellow uh, uh, 96 Bullet, bro. Goddamn it, you in there. Hey, man. I'm, I'm, I'm Bill Paxton. Thank you for stopping by, brother. Hey, we'll see y'all next time, y'all.